If you're like me and you park your car in your garage, you mm. love having a super quiet and efficient Wi-Fi controlled garage door. Yep. If you're like Tom and you like to use it as your ginormous king door that opens to the massive entrance to your home where you walk through your junk collection before you get inside. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I used the ad mother. to attack you. Um Give them a call, 407-710-BDMS. Uh, they're in Ocala and Wait Gainesville When now. you get quiet like this, I realize that the punishment will come <laughs> in a far more sadistic, crazy way than no. you just yelling at me back on the air. Every time I leave my house and I'm like, did I leave the garage door open? And then I'm sure most people, they have to turn around and go back and check. Uh, if you have the silent package through Precision Door, yep. what me, you have, Seth Petrozelli, our buddy Tony Moonjet, uh, and it's your father in law uh, has, yep. and, uh, and it, it goes through your app, and then you can see if your garage door is open or not. It's or you awesome. could open it through your app. Most of the time yeah. I use that in bed. You know, you know when you yeah. take the dogs out, you come back up, and you're like, oh, did I close the door? Stuff like that. Peace of mind is, is always great if you have like a delivery being made. Like, I happen to know. My UPS guy, he knows me from this area. Oh, you can just open if it. If he yeah. swings by here and he's like, "Hey, I got the, you know your wife ordered something." Well, yeah, there's porch pirates everywhere, man. I can open the garage. He puts it in, and I then he can either close or I can close it. I mean, yep. yeah, you know, yeah, whatever you need. It's so much more convenient. And I and here's the part that I love the most: you get a precision garage door human. You yes. get a human being in a van that says precision. They come to your house. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. have the same lady that comes and works on my garage door. She troubleshoots it. Very, very nice, and it gives you that lovely peace of mind of using one of their employees. Yeah, speaking of employees, they are hiring techs all the time, so give them a call. Yep. It's Precision Door of Central Florida. Again, the number's 407-710-BDMS. Before COVID, going on a cruise was the only way to get the atmosphere of Walmart and the carefree vibe of your local vape shop. But driving to the coast could be difficult, and who's going to watch your boa constrictor? It bites you right up in the crack of your ice, and you won't even know it! Now there's the Tom and Dan Land Cruise, where we clean up the sea by keeping the trash on land. April 17th, 2021. Gates open at 6 p.m. for the first and hopefully last Tom and Dan Land Cruise. With appearances by Tom and Dan. With professional cruise director Mark Walker for Tom and Dan Bingo. Caribbean steel drum music from Rayvon Steely Roden. Illusionist Michael Barron. World champion juggler Charles Peachock. And a set from Orlando's reggae rock group Cashed Out. April 17th, 2021. It's the Tom and Dan Land Cruise. Find more information at www.tomanddanlandcruise.com. We still doing the www thing? I thought that was I thought that was assumed. Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio. It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee. Hello. This is your Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just bright. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Hey, hey, hey. It is the Friday free show of a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I am Tom. Samantha's here. Butler's here. We will be Zooming later with Ross McCoy. Yep. What am I forgetting? It feels like a very old school laid back day today. It feels weird. It is. In a good way. In a good way. This is a officially... A fun Friday. Yeah. yeah fun yeah. Friday oh, okay. rules do apply. I wasn't sure yeah, when yeah, I got here. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure either. Heavy. Normally it's on a week, off a week, but we are, in fact, on a week. So this may bring back some sense of normalcy in the fact that oh, okay. uh, we're going to be promoting an event today. What? 
Um, it does What's feel, an event? It does, I, know, I, know. I know. It feels weird, Sam. Uh, so, and I found out something last night um, oh my that, God. that was... What they, found, they listened to our show. <laughs> that, uh, honestly, uh, it, it's what makes people believe in God, and I'll explain, wow. because it's oh, uh, yeah. insane coincidences. So, um, <laughs> all right, uh, we get a call uh, yeah. maybe... When was it? Th- three weeks or a month ago? It was longer than that. A little bit longer than that. I think. Um, by uh, Doctor Phillips, and um, they uh, they called us and they explained. No, to you're us, right. Right at three and a half weeks. Yeah, it was something like that. Um, because we've been working hard to get this, uh, you know, up and running, and uh, and it officially yeah. is today at you, noon. You have should right. tickets are on sale now. Um, so we get a call, and uh, Dr. Phillips tells us about this thing they're doing called Front Yard Festival. Hi, I'm Dr. Phillips, and I'm doing this thing called a Front Yard Festival. It's where I do uh, all of my doctoring. And one of the premier uh, event uh, places probably, in Florida? Probably one of the only venues like this in the southeast. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, you, wow, you got to have the area. you got to have... You want it centralized. I mean, you, yeah, you can do it in the middle of nowhere, but who wants that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. This is downtown. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah can't I give mean, me more sure, downtown. Field, you yeah. can get a fucking field if you want it. But right? the, no, it's yeah. the, the, the idea is to find a, a metropolitan area that has enough space. Well, good luck with that. Uh, yeah. But we do. And that can be socially distant. But the key is to have the back line and the sound yeah. to make it a, an actual concert. If not, we can go to the field. Yeah, but the, I would prefer to stay at Dr. Phillips. And the, the, yeah, the venue itself, beautiful. Uh, obviously, Dr. Phillips does it right. So they called us and they're like, hey, we uh, we want to do something with you guys. And uh, again, we've Gatoberfest. We don't, don't talk about it. They may <laughs> Did be you say Gatoberfest? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm going. They, uh, I'm going to box I'd for that. Yeah, give me that box. And, <laughs> and Daniel's right. The only reason they did call us is because uh, all you your guys. BDMs are awesome. For the yeah. last time we did our film, yeah. uh, our documentary premiere I there. Mean, even the night at Suggs Farm when we <laughs> had some problems. <laughs> Okay, I st- yeah, even listen, the- I no, this, find is, this no is a fact. This is a fact. That was our first event, and that could have gone sideways. Yes, there were people you know, passed out. But I yes- drove past that place uh, a week or two ago, <laughs> yeah. and all these yeah. memories just oh, yeah. flooded back but, to but, me. But here's one that... Uh, here's, <laughs> it was the great, Here's greatest. the reason why we've come a long way from the we, Suggs Farm and Dr. Pipe Pipe that day. <laughs> we have, but, but you know what? There were also people helping us out. You guys you yeah, guys yeah. look after each other. You clean up trash. You help us out. You know, there that were, is true. There were people helping us carry and clean up after ourselves when we were there so we could be asked back you know now yeah. you know ron was shirtless in a field with a whip but uh, consensually and consensually yeah. and he was whipping and yeah, singing in the rain in the rain but hey there's some people with uh ankle bracelets yeah, <laughs> yes, like, that was yeah. also yeah. true so anyway um they uh they talked to us about like hey we want to do something whatever and we're like at the time we're like okay cool we'd love to do something especially because you guys are sponsored by the hospital. Advent Health is involved. Well, then we had to explain to them. The all first the thing Tom says, like, we'd love to do something with you, but guys, there's this virus going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and they were like, what? Yeah, right. I mean, and like, then they're like, we'll yeah, call like, you back. I'm fine, <laughs> but I mean, you know, like our yeah. listeners, they're going to be <laughs> spread crazy. <Is> that... <laughs> anyway, so they are like, well, we have this, uh, you know, the Front Yard Festival. Everybody gets their own box, temperature check, walk in with a mask, you yeah. get your box, and you it's take off your mask. by an actual healthcare professional. Yeah, you uh, then you sit with your own group and you can uh, order food and drinks that get brought to you. Uh, you there's a little QR code in everybody's box. It gets ordered and brought to you straight. And this that we're going to uh, have the ability to order merch too that gets brought to you. I will say uh, there was some people asking like, well, how fast is it going to be you know, with all the QR codes? We, we had a correspondent. We did. So <laughs> one of our BDMs was there last night and they said they're fast as fuck. So yeah, no, I, don't worry about uh, having Corey to was party crazy yeah. out there, I yeah. think. They, uh, they, they've done They've had their practice. It's not yes. like they're doing. They, when I put this together for the first time, also, and this is an OLE. This is yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. They've done this multiple, multiple concerts yeah. sold out. To the, Finally, they, you know. somebody too on Corey's post. You know, I'm gonna, no, really, we're not trying to blow up your spot, but it gives you a good example of how there's not really a bad seat. You know, like right. like yeah. wherever you're sitting, you can either see the stage perfectly or a ginormous. 
screen. Mega screen. Yeah. Again, well, one of the reasons why we're going there is so everybody can see. Which we're going to have 360 images, uh, crew out there filming We're going to have live. complete 360 images <laughs> of <laughs> <a> hologram? <laughs> yes. The 360 Hulk images of the company. Tom and Dan hologram. So anyway, they, they have this awesome setup. We're like, yes, we want to do something. Now we couldn't figure out what, uh, like, we're like, I don't know, what do we do? Like some sort of, uh, car. we can't well, do, I wanted to like, do like live like, podcasts uh, would be rough and that. Just, we're, you know. We can't, we were doing Tom and Dan dance team. <laughs> and they uh, were going to, remember the event we did, the real man competition we did uh, at Johnny's, no, yeah, no yeah. Johnny's other side. What was the, yeah. oh no, it was a sandwich making contest. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. that was, it was a different time. <laughs> that, That's, that, that was, was my th- first guess. My first First thing, Tom's 2011. like, well, well, we'd like to do something, Dr. Fellows. What are we doing? And I go, now call me crazy, but you remember when we did the sandwich making contest and then that lady sprayed mayonnaise all over her disgusting tits <laughs> and was like whacking them together. And yeah, everybody, we, and, that, and nobody, yeah. we didn't know whether to cheer that there were titties yeah. or not cheer because... Yeah. And and then I said I'll put it on the on the board because no bad uh, ideas here. Yeah, but, no bad uh, ideas. Uh, anyway, so or, or like Master P says on Master P reviews, they ain't no whack ideas. So do you guys watch that on YouTube? No, no. Put no, that on the no, list. No, no, I forgot to put that on the list. Master P reviews. The, this man and invented the best ab shaper you have ever seen. It is saying, maybe mm. replacing QVC for me. We'll get into that later. So, uh, long story short, Daniel came up with Tom and Dan Land Cruise, and uh, the reason why is because they said, uh, "All right, the first available date. Obviously, this thing is uh, booked out for you know with acts coming in all the time. And by the way, they got some good ones, and I'm going to talk to them. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk to artists. Yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. It, yeah. Th- they can do anything. So look it, at their website. Something is Phil's website. yeah, something as intimate as like a date night movie. Something yeah. as they do Disney maybe, movies yeah. on yes. Sunday. They do, go to they do kiddo movies. Like if you want to take. Hey. Kid there and let it, well no which but is like the show you want to go to I think, oh the disco biscuits yeah mm. get a little <laughs> trancy dancy little trancy dancy trying to go see Jason by the way the Isabel. tickets are live now too yeah so okay. oh, our tickets are live our tickets are live left. now. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Only 60 pounds. Yeah, well, oh, I was going to mention that. Uh, we opened it, and this is the advantage of being a BDM. We uh, did a BDM pre sale first because you wanted to make sure BDMs had first dibs. So I yes, told everybody. There's only 60 pounds left. <laughs> I, uh, I did. I assume this thing will be sold out within a week. Uh, we're lucky if it gets past Monday just because the, there's. It, there's yeah. I don't think there's any way. People are chomping at the bit for this. Because the cash out is going to. Cash out audience is going to find out. Yeah, like uh, uh, Apparently, people are chomping at the bit because this guy yells in the toilet yesterday for me to buy pot. I'm in here struggling. <laughs> yeah. He's yelling from the potty for me to buy the pot, and I'm trying to more, buy. But more, more. But everybody was uh, slamming the website so much, it, so you, you do have to be a little, yeah. be patient. Because mm-hmm. I realized when it does sell out, I was like, we should buy some for the company, for a giveaway, for our friends uh, and family. Our, yeah, like, well, you didn't even factor sponsored. our lives in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great <laughs> job, guys. Great job. Anyway, so uh, we we have this. Uh, I would say it's a super unique and awesome show that uh, it, it starts with Ravon on uh, steel Ravon. drums. This is not for a the goof. cocktail hour. This is not like Spicy Harp. Spicy Harp was a little bit of a goof. <laughs> yeah, this guy's legitimate. In fact, he re- he just this past week, if you follow him on Twitter, he just released a couple of like original songs that he does. Yeah, and he's a legit yeah. from Jamaica, I believe, born in Kingston. He's a, he's a legit Jamaican uh, steel drum artist. And it's kind of like sensation. When you yeah, go, he's awesome. When you first get on a cruise, Butler lied to you and said he called himself the Jamaican sensation. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, we looked at it like when you first get on a cruise, there's always that uh, you know there's a steel the drum band, band and yeah. then everybody just starts drinking and eating immediately. You go to the Lido deck, yeah. you get a gray hot dog and, <laughs> yeah. and a watered down drink. But this time we're gonna have there's gonna be like real food. Four Four or five uh, downtown restaurants that have satellite locations at Dr. Phillips, so you can get a plethora of different yeah, food it's items. All listed on the website, and it's too. cool because it's stuff you know, and yeah. you're buying local. Full from your bar, pod. Yeah. yeah, full bar, everything. Oh, that was a question from the chat room: Twitch.tv oh, slash yeah. Tomadin Live. We're have custom cocktails. Yeah, the the guys wanted to know: is it just beer and wine, or do you no, have liquor? Full, no. full bar, this everything. is his thing. Yeah, this is as much a bar as a club or the Dr. Phillips or a cruise. Itself. Yeah, or a cruise <laughs> with local craft beer as well. Yeah, yeah, oh, there yeah. will be local craft beer selections. Good call. Yeah. And, Good call. And so, and that is going to transition. The more um, we talk about it, the I'm more excited. I want. The more I want to <laughs> yeah, go to the. Be a good show. <laughs> uh, and after Ravon, um, I'm just so used to not doing anything. I'm not in the mode of getting yeah. excited. You know what I mean? Like right. I'm not in. There's the, something to look forward to. I, I at that part, I have compartmentalized the getting excited for things. 
and concerts, namely, you know, because we haven't done anything like this in forever, man. And let me break to say I want to thank our presenting sponsor, Just Call Mo, Mo DeWitt, the DeWitt Law Firm. Um, he stepped up and helped us. I, I text him when this whole thing was happening. I'm like, listen, to be, <laughs> to be able to put this together. I just dumbed it down to that. That's what it is now. You know, we need I mean, a sponsor. I just yeah. from now on, when you go, hey, we got to no. call Mo, I'm just... Lay it in there and just roll down the so, road. Again, thank you to JustCallMo.com. Also, ABC Fine Wine and Spirits mm-hmm. stepped in as a co-sponsor. So did uh, Sports Subaru. And we want to thank them very much. And they're going to have some gifts and gift bags. Um, speaking of gift bags, we've got Bart Merrick, At Home Floor Store, Blanchard Insurance, Villain Clothing, Secured Roofing, uh, Streamline Mortgage, uh, and some others coming in. They're going to have a gift bag in every pod. So we're trying to do uh, cool things. Anyway, so... Uh, after Ravone, we're going to do Tom and Dan Bingo, um, where we're going we to still have need a big pl- prize. Plan that yeah, out. yeah, yeah, we're yeah. going to put all that. This together. is where you guys are truly getting an unplanned show, and everybody will have a bingo card in their bag, yeah. and uh, and so you'll be able to play and along. What can you win? What I, can I win? Well, we're still working on it. There's going to be cash now, money. I, yeah, I know what you can cash win, money. and yeah, I know yeah. some of the things that have been thrown around, and it ain't like. I'm not going to say that. Dude, I was going to say, it ain't your grandma's cash money. We're, we're going to keep throwing in stuff, and sponsors are going to throw, yeah, like a gigantic gift bag that Travis is going to run out to the the winner. Anyway, after that, we have a professional cruise director, Mark Walker, that's going to be helping us uh, uh, host the whole night because he is a cruise director. Yeah, he knows what to do. Some of the, uh, and he's been a cruise director for like 20 years. It's insane. Yeah, I was asked to not say, because I, I realized that these guys are, you know, the, the professional cruise director. Market, I believe, is no different than if you were a wide receiver or quarterback. If you're really good, and he has his own like social group, media following, yeah, he has a whole following. He's he's so good at this that he is like this guy that it, let's say he was, and I don't know. I'm just saying, let's say he was with Holland America, and then that that tenure, you know, or that contract worked out. I think he can take his talent to Royal Caribbean if he would like, and work his way up to different ships. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And uh, you might want to schedule him for a weird job. Maybe he's going to help us host the rest of the night. We have illusionist Michael Barron. This is the who, one that I don't understand why. Uh, how you got Charles Peacock uh, is buddies with him, and he's friends with uh, a lot of people. Well, but illusionist sounds yeah, big, yeah, yeah. and so what are we doing? He's here? done. He's a, like he's done a bunch of cruise, uh, you know, shows, and done like he's. The, you could check him out on on our website again at TomandDanLandCruise dot com, and then Char- Charles Peacock is going to be performing um, right before Cashed Out, and he's going to put together like half an hour. Like, this guy's been on America's Got Talent. You've put, you've seen him at our last event, uh, our seven-year anniversary. Um, and I'm glad we're getting to do something with him again. Just on The Tonight Show. Selfishly, I didn't get to see his act but side stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, he does so much crazy stuff. Juggling is actually one of the things you want to see straight on so you can actually right. see what he's doing, you know? And then uh, we end the night with Cashed Out. Uh, That's weird, too. From juggling yeah. to bubbling. <laughs> yeah, local <laughs> reggae band. And uh, so, and, and at this venue with the food, the drink, and uh, and just being there is an experience, too. It's cool. And, and here's another reason why I love the venue. It's one of those venues where when the, when the show, you know, what time is it ending? What time are we wrapping things up? Um, let's say the uh, gates open at 6. Okay. Um, we from six to seven is Ravone. Then from seven to eight is the Bingo, the Illusionist, the Juggler. Then cashed out from eight to like eight thirty. Yeah. So, so like so a, if so let's say just at nine we're naturally yeah yeah, I mean, yeah. you're in the way that the venue set in this in the heart of our city it's like the big gate in the front opens up and you just can walk out after the show into the night. Yep. You know, like into the city. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Hit us some gringos. And, yeah, and then yeah, that's lo- true. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. true. A lot of our uh, cruisers that were going to go on our actual cruise. I mean, they got the email. They're going to be con- they're basically all the whole middle of the it's section. The best of the area. we can do, guys. And they're, they're going to get all our. <laughs> I'm pretty all, proud of it. I think it's pretty yeah. neat. All the 2020 cruise bags. Unless it goes uh, horribly wrong, yeah, yeah. I'm not proud of it at all. So I, I want to thank Pyrospot and Precision Door and West End and Fair Villa and everybody. Our former 
our cruise sponsors that basically we've postponed it for two years and had to cancel our cruise and we're doing this land cruise. And uh, Samantha's right, there's 60 pods left because BDMs and <laughs> former cruisers and stuff. So I would get on it if you want a uh, a little box. We got get some, on it if you want it. We got some questions. We've yep. got Air Chubby and the Jackal kind of jumping on there. He says, will Tom and Dan be doing, quote, a show as part of these acts? That's the part I still don't understand. And then the Jackal says, that's why I'm out. Well, as much as I admire and love your positivity, <laughs> we are not doing a show that night yeah. because those are hard, man. I don't think you guys understand doing, yeah, but listen, how this difficult is be- that is to pull the, off. The show we have is better than a Tom and Dan live podcast, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 this O-L-E. is coming from well, Tom and Dan. Yes. Say After that. OLE, we're not yeah, <laughs> taking a chance. I, I this is not the that, venue but, for uh, sit down. Yeah, like, yeah. All right, yeah. all right, now let's uh, one hour of just talk improv. Here we go. We have a a gigantic, fun-filled show. Well, people don't understand the intimacy of us being in your ears right now. I mean, just me talking to you right now, how intimate that is. Most of you, I'm in your ear holes. Listen, the bingo... Not on a stage. The bingo section is going to be us doing a 15-minute show while a bingo game is Yeah, you're getting a show. It's it's image bingo, and we're taking all the images from the show. And we're going to riff. So, and it's all going to be up there. uh, And this is a conservative venue. It'll be fun, trust me. Look, we're going to get into some trouble. Well, uh... Speaking of that, this is the only show we've ever done where it is, uh, there's no age limit, uh, which obviously is not, Uh, not, this is not for kids. Oh, yeah, the Jackal says one (laughs) piece of criticism, now we're spilling all the secrets. No, no, this, uh, no, bring your babies. Maisie brought her own box for her and a couple of her girlfriends, they're just (laughs) gonna do a fun night out. This is not for kids, obviously, but with that being said, uh, we're not, uh, screaming the F word or, uh, really, you know. But Travis will be there. But I'm sure curse words will. Will fly on the stage, yeah. and then uh, you know uh, I'm not going to tell ah. cash out to change or anything. But Dr. Mm-hmm. Phillips and the Front Yard Festival doesn't have an uh, age restriction no. because it, everybody's in their own box and they card yeah. everybody. So it's like you can bring your uh, kids if you have to. Uh, I like uh, that. Obviously, older kids, I would say. But like I said, uh, we're not it's censoring super ourselves. Super European but. of them. I like <laughs> it. It makes no seriously. It makes me feel like we're in a real city. But some people don't have, especially during uh, a pandemic, don't have babysitters or you know this if they. Uh, you know, they have a 10 and 12 year old and they well, have to bring them. I mean, you, you could you, bring them. I mean, most babysitters are poor and poor people are dying of the virus. <laughs> so you have to stay away from them. <laughs> stay in your sector. So anyway, it's uh, Tom and Dan Land Cruise dot com. And I get your tickets before they sell out. Uh, it's going to be April 17th. I'm sorry. My attention oh. span for plugs oh. is only about 12 Here. minutes before I start. Sorry, making sorry, sorry. I we uh, I had to because the first this is the first day of actual ticket sales to the everybody. Yeah. Um, so here's the what makes me believe in, uh, or what makes everybody believe in God. So uh, I was sitting there last I, night. I'm still on my journey, sir. Yeah. And uh, I was, uh, I was, I was like, <gasps> I was like, April seventeenth. I was like, what is, uh, what is What's familiar? About this? It's my birthday. How did you forget? <laughs> no, we were supposed to come back on the cruise. You already told us that. Yeah, no, but besides from that, I'm like, is that Tom and Dan Day? And I was, I started looking, trying to find the document because I knew I I had posted a picture of it years ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm like, and I'm trying to find it. I'm like, and this is like literally 12 o'clock at night. Chris was yelling at me, like, go to sleep. You'll find out tomorrow. (laughs) Quit being a crazy person. Put your phone down. You're keeping me awake. Andrea's (laughs) in our chat room. It is her anniversary. Well, well, your anniversary. Well, she said it's my anniversary. (laughs) Well, Crystal did bring that up. Much like half of America right now, that's not my anniversary. (laughs) (laughs) Crystal did bring up. She's like, why did you storm that bitch? Why did you do your event on Daniel Andrews anniversary? He never brought it up. We talked about it for uh, a week. I mean, what what better way to celebrate (laughs) your love than the fucking money I put (laughs) in your goddamn uh, wallet? Oh yeah, this is all. This is all washed. No one's making money. No, I know, but. At least it uh, at least it uh, solidifies that uh, you know. Anyway, why are these people here? It's because I still got it. It it is Tom and Dan Day, like on the decree that the uh, yeah. Mayor Buddy Dyer gave us, April seventeenth. But I always two thousand uh, was it fifteen seventeen seventeen. Right. I would never think that though because I was like, what they are the gave chances? us the they gave us the digital copy and mailed the. The nice copy, the physical, the yeah. physical copy. They mailed it on the four. We got it on the fourteenth. Well, they said it. Yeah, yeah. They, they we put- declared Tom and Dan Day. Buddy Dyer put his video out on the fourteenth, and then. It on the paper, it says is the seventeenth, which I guess is my anniversary, which I always say is the fourteenth. I get and it mixed up with my wife's uh, uh, birthday, which is the seventh of October. 
So, uh, anyway, what are the chances that lands, like, the only time they had available was April 17th, and that happened to be... So you're telling us you're now a man of God. No, No, it it happened to be when... That that was the day we were getting back from the... They were supposed to get back from this uh, uh, postponed cruise a second time. The only day was Tom and Dan. They're like, the only day we have is Tom and Dan day. (laughs) And that was the weekend we were going to get back from our cruise. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy that that happened, and that's how stupid we are. We didn't even realize it until uh, this morning. Morning and last night when I thought about it, I was like, "Shit, fucking Tom and Dan Day is crazy." Anyway, so uh, should be uh, all these weird things uh, are going to mean. We should form a, a series. Shit show. <laughs> okay, the month of April. This has been happening too much for us not to brainstorm. Maybe on a BDM show or something. Uh. We should have a series. We should have clothing that you're supposed to wear. In the month of April. I'm down. We should have it's music. It's me and Butler's birthday month. We have yeah. music that you play in the month of April, and you should have to put a tree up mm. for Ooh. Tom and Dan okay. Day. I'll erect something. Uh, and you put it out on your, your maybe, you, maybe you spread some grass seed, and you put a tiny tree out on a like tiny Arbor meadow. <laughs> no, like what you do. You have the little meadow that uh, you use for Christmas. Uh. You, man, you really are grumpy and hate fun today. I, well, I was grumpy today. because uh, Why are you all pissed off? Uh, uh, I'm, uh, Your fucking bento boxes. No, <laughs> oh, I just, man, that again? <laughs> well, it's the... Is uh, it going to ruin your whole day? I get mad at change because as I get older, I start <laughs> getting <laughs> set in my ways and I get, I get into the routine, routines. And then when they change, it bought, it's like the Google Calendar. Like how we, Google I, Calendar? <laughs> well, remember we went from one calendar to the other, and yeah. I was grumpy it's for two like yeah. like weeks. It's like a Google Cluster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, I'm so good. I the, forgot about those yeah, things. Google Clusters are good. So I've been feeding my son's bullshit for lunch. <laughs> and uh, Like, you know, garbage, apparently. Yeah. It was like, you know, the Cheetos and the chips. Yeah, they all eat garbage. So Maisie, Which I have chips, said fine. Yeah. Maisie yeah, fine. eats straight garbage. That, no, she. I got this. Your wife is the one that uh, forced the I bento box to my wife. She yeah. tra- I told you this week. Yes, we may pack a healthy lunch, but she trades everything yeah. she has of for goldfish. All <laughs> she eats are Pepperidge Farms cheesy goldfish. That's it. I asked her what she had for lunch. Four bags of goldfish, she said. <laughs> she traded She traded her protein uh, for goldfish. Uh, she traded her apples for goldfish. She traded even her dessert for goldfish. She's crazy about goldfish. Yeah. By the way, if you're keeping score, my dad's favorite treat was Pepper Farts goldfish. The only thing that Maisie doesn't have is early times and Diet Coke. <laughs> Anyway, I uh, Crystal's like, uh, we got to do healthier. We got to be better at this. And I got this bento box, and it's like the nuts. But the box isn't going to make the kids healthier. <laughs> and then I got to cut the uh, I gotta do, there's nuts here and fresh veggies and a fruit area oh, yeah. and a grain. Fruit area. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then there's like, here's some uh, protein. It's all like the pack in a fucking tackle and, box. Yeah, yeah, it is like yeah. a tiny tackle box. No, like, it's oh like a bug God. out bag. You got everything in there. And then so I stand Ammo. there with my hands, uh, my arms crossed <laughs> and grumpy. And then Crystal loads of thing I'm like anyway so very why grumpy. does that make you so mad though is it because you feel like you failed no well um, then but if she's loading it and you're not having to do anything then why the fuck do you care because I was doing it my way fucking which Frank was Sinatra fine, but, you're not, <laughs> yeah, but you're, fine but you're not having to do it now just let yeah, her think she's got it better no. let her think I let Andrea think she wins all the time <laughs> But I, but I also got some set. Like I'm feeding you, uh, I don't my even... lunch, and uh, that's you know I'm feeding my boys, my boys. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. I'm abandoning think... my boys. I... Jesus oh, Christ! Right. <laughs> there was ah, a joke. Bastard in a basket. <laughs> Just a bastard in a basket. I did start screaming. I bent my boys, and then I was scared. Everybody, the whole family, scared. In front of the church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, being um, let's do some uh, voicemail email. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's called mail on mail. Oh, okay, whatever. No, no. Some voicemail email. He's so mad. <laughs> You went on so long, I have to call this guy back. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. I've got 30 minutes. Calling. Too long. Hot dick. The place to find real action with real men. To make it even better, we've got new low prices. So low, we're practically giving it away free. Ah, if you I'm are not a man a woman, press one. If you are a woman seeking a man, press two. If you are a man seeking a man, press three. Male. On mail. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's too long. <laughs> what the, what, we don't have time for this. 
And the, and the only reason my plug was so long is because I'm, <laughs> I, I'm the goddamn thing's going to be sold out and we'll, we'll never have to plug it again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, I got to make this one good because the thing's going to be sold out by Monday. And then I'm like, the sponsors. <laughs> anyway. uh, Jay Brewer hit the nail on the head. He says he thinks you're rebooting. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it looks like. It's like, well, oh, it's like I see it, the rainbow yeah. Apple logo and then I just see the Apple come Uh-oh, up. And he's then, putting his flip flops. Oh, oh, I, I missed the pandemic when, back, I, when, what? I, when I had time to get into plants. I fucking I just had no shirt and uh, tiny dukes on and I just went home <laughs> and I made I up a mess of plants. No one did shit. The fuck out I was like, uh, events? We got uh, no events ever uh, next year. That's what's really that, happening. Yeah, that's it. It's the event planning. He's back to event planning. Yeah, yeah. It's well, then then yeah. we got to stop doing events. One event a year, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is all you guys get. Well, oh my God. Well, what ha- you guys I- don't understand what me and Butler had to deal with this morning. <laughs> yeah. When you I- guys should do what I do. Just come in here and turn music on. <laughs> it's a, when I got out of, like, for a year, and then all of a sudden, it was like, uh, we jumped back into event planning. Right, I'm going to start like, this email because Sorry, uh, this guy already hung up once, and I don't want to lose <laughs> no, him again. He's like a user that went back to his old dosage. Oh, let me plug True Leaf. Sorry. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> fill out our form, True Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Tom. Oh, my God. It's a fucking miracle. I believe in God now. Okay. You got that. Hi, Tom, Dan, Sam, and Butler. Many times I've heard y'all talk about massage places and the shenanigans you can get up to. Today, while partaking in some substances, I decided I was going to do it. I've never been to a regular massage place, let alone one where you can get full service. After doing some online research... Full service? How do you... (laughs) Okay. After doing some online research, I picked a place, got some cash out, and walked in. I need some specifics, but yes, okay. The one woman who was there was very nice and didn't seem dead behind the eyes like Tom seems to like. I paid for an hour massage, which included a table shower. By the way, there was more than one woman there. There's no way they, they work it just singularly that. seems like dangerous. That. It is. Uh, unlike they, popular thought, four of them the money I took out to do the old put-it-in-the-shoe routine, I was asked to put it away. The, massage, the shoe or the money? I believe the money. <laughs> okay. The massage was very normal, with the exception that even though I am closer to a chungus, she was very flirty and complimentary. Closer to a chungus. With ten minutes left, the masseuse asked if there was any place I wanted more attention. Ten minutes? I mean, God, give me eight and then call me at two. So I yeah, took off my towel and rolled onto my back. She asked if I was age, uh, asked if I was of age, compliment again, and made the hold... On to uh, hold up one finger to her lips to signal keep she it say, on the low. What if you? What does she say if you say I'm 17? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like she'll, yeah. she'll still do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. That's just, that's just uh, it's like they ask you your age when you buy a pack of cigarettes. I just right, right, right. <laughs> when I asked how much, her response was, "I don't care. You pay for what you enjoy." Oh, I love those kind of restaurants. The ones where it's like honor system. Then, after one last head nod of agreement, I received quite a good jibber that went on longer than the Whoa, ten minutes I expected. Hold on a second, a jibber? <laughs> hold on a second. Does this guy know what a jibber is? Because in, unless my definition is incorrect, a yeah. jibber is not a ha- uh, hibber. Could be a hand jibber. A uh, hibber is a uh, hand jibber. I don't know. Well, you have to say hand jibber, right? Uh-huh. I always thought. We'll jibber, ask for specific. I always thought hand jibber was Jibber's a hand jibber. Dick. A jibber is a mouth jibber. Yeah. I paid a slight premium, and she hugged me afterwards for tipping her well. Oh, fuck the hug. Overall, it was way less shady than I expected, and the massage was pretty good. Yeah, but I don't want a Still grandma shady. hug after you suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't hug me. Yet. I don't want a grandma you, you, you hug. You lean your pelvis <laughs> out and tap the back. Yeah, I'll see you next time, Johnny. Thanks for taking me to the DMV. Burping her. Yeah. The price of the service could have been more affordable than I made it, but if I ever decide to go back, I want to be a preferred client. Overall, four out of five experience, with the exception of feeling slightly rushed at the end. If you're single and have a little bit of disposable income, it's a good time for a fair price at the location I visited. P.S. I love the hug the best sign. <laughs> Almost chunk. So so we have Massage Chungus on the line. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, He's on line one. I have a lot of questions for he Chungus wants, here. Yeah, he wants to be anonymous, so yeah, we're yeah. calling him Massage Chungus. Okay, <laughs> Massage Chungus, you are on the line. It's Dan. What's up, man? <laughs> what's up? What's up? So uh, mas- you sound like an authentic massage chung. Massage chungus. <laughs> when you said you did online research, what did yeah, you what research? Did you Google. <laughs> yeah. uh, pretty much just like massage parlor reviews, adult, and yeah. it came up with that. Uh, what what's it called? Uh, rub maps rub, or tug, tug, maps tug maps or whatever. Yeah, don't act like you don't know it. It's tug maps. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And then uh, you went on Tug Maps, and then you found a <laughs> local massage parlor. By the way, my car's GPS is Tug Maps. <laughs> and uh, what made you decide to do this, Chungus? 
Uh, substance abuse. Oh, no, all right. Which I'm substance? Being honest. Which <laughs> substance? Are you a married man, Jungus? I am not. I am single as fuck. Okay. All, all right. right. That's. I mean, so, so he's just. So the, basically, what this guy is doing is uh, a hero's work, right? Yeah. So you're yeah. just. You got lonely, and you decided. You, you have you ever done anything like this before? Prostitution or anything like that? No, actually, I had not. Okay. The, and now. I, what, what, and, what and I don't want to get into specifics, but it, it seemed like when I re, when I read the the email after after Sam forwarded it over, <laughs> it seemed like you do have a higher level of confidence than I think most people that would go into this. Like I know, like I even yeah, I've told my story before. I chickened out. I was very nervous about it. Yeah. Well, you didn't go in there seeing. I didn't that. go I there just, with the yeah. intention of doing it. Were you nervous when you were deciding to do this? Like when you were doing the research, I understand. You know, obviously, you've got free will. You can decide to do it or not. But once you knew you were in the car and you're chunging your way down there, <laughs> were you at all, like, apprehensive? Uh, actually, for, like, most of it, I was like, eh, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? And when she was like, oh, there's ten minutes left, I was uh, like, you called an audible? Oh, go. shit. <laughs> okay, so let's, ah, damn. let's Did talk you already this. have a boner when you rolled over? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so, Chungus, let's talk about this. I never this. got one. <laughs> so, was there any pre-talk? Like, okay, so you find a place on Rub Maps, but you still don't know 100% because they're obviously not putting it on the menu. Right. If this is a uh, the type of place that does that thing. Mm-hmm. Now, you can kind of tell just by the outside. <laughs> like, I, I, oh, yeah. And, and yeah, and the outside is definitely very like, oh, hey, this is what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not joking. I may be ninety like percent accurate. Uh, <laughs> if you if you just drove me by a massage parlor, I could tell you if they give hand jobs or not by ninety oh, percent accuracy. And, just by and the Tom, way. I gar- I guarantee, even though you've never been there, you know exactly which one that's in. Well, yeah, he lives in Casterbury. He's next to his house. Well, it's, it's always the same building with barely any windows. Green, and always, very tinted. Yeah, and always look for green and faded um, graphics with a, a fucking lotus. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, a big uh, orange uh, neon open sign, yeah. and then just something that generically says massage. Yeah. Or some sort of like, if it says Asian massage for whatever reason, that's uh, even more of a sign. Anyway. Well, Asian is the Asian word for jack off. <laughs> Can you clarify if it was a. <laughs> weird. <laughs> it's weird, yeah. Can you clarify if it was a yeah. hand jibber or a mouth jibber? <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. It- it was definitely mouth jibber. Oh, right. what, what do you mean, definitely? Like what? You, you, well, I just got back <laughs> the results. So let's uh, chunk this. <laughs> that's, that's that's a that's, that's okay. next level. That is next level. That is shit. next level. That is so next do, level. Okay, shit. let's talk about that. So you didn't have any pre-conversation with uh, like? You, did you sit in the lobby? Did you have to make your appointment online and then like? Uh, no, uh, you like, walk check in. her mouth for sores. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It was it was definitely a walk-in situation. Yeah. First off, I walked in, and I was the only one there. There wasn't even, like, somebody at the front. That's weird. And I stood there for, like, two minutes, and then she came out from the back, and she was like, oh, hey, how can I help you? I was like, want to get a massage? I was just she was spitting like, okay. the last guy out. <laughs> she was like, you, you want to go now? And I was like, yeah, sure. And she was like, do you want a half hour or a full hour? And I was like, I'll pay for a full hour. Why not? How about a full hour, Chungus? I'll give now, you a big Chungus special. Now, was there... So that's all... This, you said, I'll pay for the full hour, and then... Uh, now, why did you opt for the table shower? Because... <laughs> I feel Wait like that's what you're hung whoa, up whoa, on. It's too awkward. Tom, please, if this guy's going to call our show and bear his soul, I would like to ask you to at least pull back on the judgment, man. Honestly. Be- no, no, don't give it... No, Tom's right. It was very awkward. Um, But it was included, so, I mean, get the most out of my money, right? Was it because you saw a table shower and you're like, that's kind of close to jacking off? <laughs> so like, you know the jack off, man? Like, no, but like, like, describe, maybe that is the one you have to pick. Maybe I don't know what code. the table shower is. You lay on the table and they just wash it you on the sponge table. Sponge you down, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's like this It's like this shower pad thing that you lay down and it's almost like a massage table. Are you naked? A, yeah, yeah. Right. And are you like so? Okay, so you take off your, you know, I guess. Do they go between the your, cheeks? Your voice sounds. They like, do go between the cheeks, and I that was it. very awkward. You're a man. That, I don't want the you're like a man. That, I don't want that. Okay, hold on. He's oh, a man, man. that Who sounds like that? all of his T-shirts come from GameStop.com. <laughs> I'm no, no, no. You no, sound I like you. Stop. You've got at Definitely least hot topic. three or four <laughs> Mario. Hold on a second. I, f- I smell a goth chungus. <laughs> I smell. Oh uh, yeah, I'm. I'm like. Is goth, this norm? Goth chungus. 
No, it is not Norm. Yeah, I don't know. That's what Norm would say. That's what Norm would say. <laughs> this is a very normal. You like that helmet I sold you? It's a normal laugh. I know. If it. I were watching the show Norm, this would be yeah. the pilot. <laughs> Norm got jacked off. <laughs> anyway, so Norm. Um, <laughs> now you him Norm. Um, while you're getting the table shower, is there anything that? Because uh, this is what. Okay, yeah, so you're naked. Are you laying up? Or down? Is it dick down or dick up? I dick up. And then she's spraying you with a a, a wand and and washing your body. Yeah. With soap, do you smell good? What are the smells you're smelling? Lavender yeah, no, and comb. It, was, I, it was like liquid dial. I. <laughs> It's a blue dial. It's a yellow dial. Oh my god! She got the, she's a fucking dry ass. She's cutting costs, she, guys. She's, she's washing you like an Exxon duck. <laughs> <laughs> she put Dawn on you to get the oil out of your hair. Like <laughs> uh, anyway. So uh, now mask on in the shower. By the way, <laughs> I'm getting waterboarded. <laughs> oh, no, that's, that's the drop I want. Of him going, mask on in the shower, by the way. <laughs> you got a blowjob, sir. It's mad. Fine. He's mad as hell. <laughs> like, I don't know. For whatever reason in my head, I figured she wouldn't be worried about Yeah, Corona. she's sucking <laughs> dick. Why did she care? <laughs> did you have to wear a condom? Yeah, but he has oh, to, no, I did not. But he has, Whoa, to, oh, but he has to put it through her mask. Yeah, to take your mask off of it. You don't know, think like, what? Like, come on, lady. <laughs> she come on, did you have to wear your mask on while you're getting the blow you're job? Breathing heavy in your mask? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> right. I don't know if you can mask get blow job. Mm, 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 mm. God, that's good. And then she did she put her mask back on immediately after she was done? Like uh, no, you like, spit then mask. Like I was a, ask like Jer- swallow. Like uh, oh. like some uh, NFL president drinking a beer. Then yeah. they all of a sudden see him yeah, go. They go fast. <laughs> they Paparazzi. See him, they're on camera. They're like oh shit. Did you? Did, did she, she swallow? Yeah. Uh, I do no, not know. No. She got up and walked out of the room. Yeah. She spit. She yeah. spit. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she probably, probably spit right on the, yeah. right on the, uh, so, the industrial carpet. So, uh, N- Norm, before, uh, what was the transaction <laughs> or the business transaction that l- led to that deed? Because that's where I'm curious about. Like, I always made the joke, money in the shoe, and I know in your email you said, oh, they told me, you know, like, uh, that's, I've never done any of this because I'm not... Uh, cool. Big fat Norm <laughs> that he needs to. Uh, although it does Norm, sound, I'm sorry for this. Hate that I you. <laughs> it, I, don't no, reverse I, psychology us. I don't think it's fair for you to act as if this isn't cool. This is cooler than you, dude. You, yeah, you yeah, would sure. never. Do I this. want. Okay, no, you would never do this. You don't have the cojones let, to do this. Let's talk about if this was a, a an accepted practice that everybody was fine <laughs> yeah. with. Imagine well, like going a, to a bar. Imagine how many guys. And how much money this industry would make? Like, I'm well, serious. Like Disney World, yeah. Like, like, blow shops. Like, imagine it, because Norm, you would. I'm going ra- down to a blow shop. How would you rate your experience? By the way, why'd you hug her at the end, bro? Yeah, don't. Do that. <laughs> well, yeah, why'd you do the grandma hug at the end? Even when my grandma look, I, I don't even do that with okay, my wife. Awkward. <laughs> okay, pause for one second. When old ladies give me gifts, like my grandma give me a uh, my grandma give me a, a fucking saddlebred sweater, I'll hug her like that. But when she. Sucks my dick. I don't give her a hug afterwards. Yeah, yeah. You just say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you go about your day yeah. like you, you. Then you get I out of there ashamed. I mean, uh, even a pound would have been more acceptable. Yeah, I'm sorry. It definitely was not my choice. I wanted to hurry out of there, but she was like, "Oh, what's your name?" And then went to hug me, and I was like, yeah. oh, "Okay, Clientele. I guess I have to hug you now." Yeah, because uh, she wants you to be a regular chungus. So. Because I think that these people thrive on regulars. I really believe oh, that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and you get... It's just like... Uh, Jerry Jones. Dan- like uh, exotic uh, dancers. Oh, like they have Jerry, the people uh, that come back. Now we're getting fucking sued because <laughs> Tom's <laughs> memory. Sorry, Jerry. What happened to your great memory that you've had for years? I meant Kraft. as the old white Kraft, guy that oh, owns, God. Old white guy that owns an NFL team. Anyway, yeah. Kraft uh, oh, is a great. regular... Oh, OUC is calling the me. The chat's on fire, by the way. So, um... Now, going back to the transaction, what was the pivotal point where you knew that it was time to like make a decision? I'm going to ask yeah. for this, or what's the code? It's chung yeah. time. What happened? <laughs> well, so, like the true scumbag I am, and just like Tom, I wore sandals in there. <laughs> so I put the money. 
I had put the money on top of the sandals because it was like, no, oh, you can't put oh, money in sandals. So this guy, no, this is your new norm, dude, because this guy did it like you would have done it. This what guy, are people's perception? No, of me? this guy, <laughs> you know, this is, I'm just like you're, you're sure. I, please don't I, tell I, me. Please don't tell me. <laughs> I mean, people tell me I am you. <laughs> yeah, you too. So you put your mo- the money on top of the sandals, and then she's like, put the money away. <laughs> yeah, she was like, put that away, you can tip me later. And I was like, okay, sure. And then when she was like, yeah, 10 minutes left, is there anywhere else that you want to massage? And I just kind of went, mm? And she went, you know, put her put her finger up to your mouth like, hey, don't tell anyone. Like, oh, like the whisper. Okay, so you said you're breaking up just a little bit like you're on a Bluetooth or something. So she says, is there any place else that needs some attention? And you yeah, do yeah. the, mm, and she does the, shh. Yeah, yeah. You should have rolled yeah, over yeah, and yeah, spread exactly your ass. That. I was saying, yeah. like, uh, she's, this is the first time she's ever done this. She's like, shh, don't tell me. I'm like, I'm in I a don't dungeon. Norm- <laughs> I don't normally <laughs> blow chunguses. Your legs are shackled to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Ramsey Bolton. <laughs> So you, uh, oh she said she put the old uh, "Don't tell anybody." And then yeah. did she? Did you know it was you know, going to be a blowjob? I, I, I right, right. figured it was a hand job. I it's also want to say when she goes "shh" is better than if she'd taken her hand and done it across her neck <laughs> right. like a pirate. Yeah, or, or she's yeah, like no. they're watching. Oh, yeah. no, I, I did not. I did not know that it was going to be a blowjob. That was a pleasant surprise. Okay, the whole pause, pause. That would wow. freak me out because I think I, I that costs more. I think right. I could go like if she. Reached and grabbed it. I th- I know where the where I'm thinking. I'm freaking out, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm ruining it's my happening. life. I'm cheating on my family. I'm ruining my life. Ruining my but life. But I'm like, feel that but I'm like, I think I can explain a hand away. God damn it, you were born for this. You're going to explain <laughs> it away. You're going to explain it away. And if yeah. there's anything you know, it's that Andrea is a good person, and that you will literally. This is it. You will now have to try the rest of your life <laughs> to, to make it up to man. make it up to her. But this is it. You get one. <laughs> Minor, horribly <laughs> not even good <laughs> hand job in a horrible place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. by uh, I think a sex lane. But the, yeah, but the minute that mouth goes, I mean, but the minute the chances, the minute are. I feel warmth right. and the minute it's wet, I'm like, like, and then I'm like, well, I've ruined my life. Now. Yeah. This is, I, Might as well go through with it at this point. And I realize that by so, explaining that I, I'm making you guys probably think less of me, but I'm just trying to answer this honestly. So, I would never get myself in this situation to begin. The with. chat wants to know how she looked. Why does that matter? Well, the chat wants to know. She wasn't unattractive. But she wasn't like the pictures on the website either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we well, well, give us, well, give us a, she was average. Yeah, give us a so, non-judgy description. Well, uh, mid to late forties, petite. Um, late forties and pigtails. Petite. <laughs> oh, petite, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so obviously, obviously couldn't see her face because of the mask. So yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. That, right, so right. Chungus, um, uh, did he, you check her teeth out at all? Because that's a bothersome thing to me too. I, I'm not doubting. So she wore a mask while she gave you a blowjob. Here's weird. here's what's weird. So uh, me and Daniel wandered into essentially a, a what I think was a bordello or a, a prostitution house in um, San Francisco one oh, time. Yeah, that was bad. And as soon as he walked, it was supposed to be a strip club, but apparently it was like, uh, you know, basically they did full-on prostitution. So they l- immediately took us to a back room, each of us, and then the person, the prostitute that I was speaking with, <laughs> uh, like immediately mm. was then or the sex worker. Sorry, I'm yeah. trying to get Look better. Look you. Oh, yeah, oh, they, were gi- you. they were giving me a rundown. Yeah, they just, oh. they, and the list was My like, horror. Hey, was gone crazy. <laughs> Every, <Double down. laughs> everything had a price, so they were like, "This is this, this is this," and like the hand job was obviously cheaper than the blow job. It, it like, was, yes. and then there was sex course, in there. You know course. what? I was there too, and, and this checks out. Yeah, and so, <laughs> so, and I think that's and standard. It's bold, like not only to to go straight to mouth, but like no condom or Sometimes nothing. The, like, during a pandemic, you're yeah. just giving out blow jobs. Well, with yeah, the I mean, well, they're they're a lot worse than Corona. <laughs> but, you know, I uh, like, well, you can't. I don't. I don't think you can get corona from blowjobs because it's airborne. Yeah, yeah. I think, but even like the herpes, a lot of herpes. I don't out know. A lot of herpes I, out I, there. I honestly yeah, yeah. don't. Also, sir, you but, might want to get checked yeah, out, yeah. Norm. By the way, Norm. Oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, the. Uh, 
The fact that she gave he me a blowjob with, no, a blow job with <laughs> no condom, that I would be thinking the whole time. I'd be freaking out. And I'm like, well, this probably isn't the first time she decided, like, you know what? Today, I'm tired of condoms. I'm going raw dog. <laughs> raw dog. <laughs> this like, going raw dog. This my dog is Norm. Is she is raw, raw dog Ronnie. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> she, she well, that's the name of the show. <laughs> And she, spell it like spell it like the girl that sings yeah, yeah, with Eddie Money. I E. <laughs> Ronnie, I think her name was Ronnie Spector. Yeah, because gonna, we'll spell it. Be my little baby. It's, yeah, it's not like <laughs> it's not like she was searching for the condom, couldn't find one, or like uh, the you know this, the the uh, like some sort of person was yelling at her to hurry up, you know, and she had to do it. Like this was a relaxed scenario. She just went straight no condom right off the bat. That tells me that this is a norm for her. Norm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, did that also, concern you? This guy <laughs> laughs like somebody we used to work with. He's a fucking meal. The chat also wants to know how big your dick is, Norm. Oh, okay. Uh, average at best. Yeah, yeah right. the standard chungus. Okay. Uh, uh, how fat standard, are you? Standard white chungus. How chungy yeah. are you? How chungy are you? I, I'm more of a chungus light. I'm like... 5'11", 2'45". Yeah, 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 yeah you're okay. like a pearman. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's back, that's, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fine. Uh, uh, so, 5'11", you know, 245 yeah. Did, uh, you're good. Uh, and now, uh, what did this whole transaction cost? Because I got... Ooh, the, Norm in our chat room is mad now because he no. says you're not big enough to be a chunga. <laughs> Well, now we got an unfortunate <laughs> fat fight on our hands. Norm, the only thing Norm got mad at is that this guy claimed to be fat and Norm was fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you are going to claim it. There's a conspiracy that this is Norm on the phone. No, yeah. so I don't know. Anyway, He's trying so, to throw us off the scent. So, Chungus, uh, how much did everything cost when it was all said and done? Uh, one twenty. That's okay. not bad, dude. For God, a massage damn. and a blowjob, it's yeah. a great dude, deal. Dude, one hundred and twenty dollars for a massage okay. and a blowjob is. Think is, about this for a second. Hold on a second. Think that about is a this. Value. Think about if this was a service yeah. that was that our society accepted yes. to be fine. Correct. How many men that you know, including ourselves, would be at one of these places? I mean, how if, long? If society, I'm were not different. joking. If society were different, and Twice Andrew a was week? like, and Andrew was like, "What are you doing, guys?" Oh, I'm like, "Hey, babe, me and Tom ended early. We're gonna go up to uh, there's a blow shop up the street. We're gonna <laughs> yeah, go yeah, yeah, yeah. get a couple beers, a yeah. couple blow jobs, couples blow. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. Just don't drink and drive. Okay, <laughs> baby, I love you. Hey, <laughs> tell me, I love you. <laughs> How? Oh, and, let, and let me say, it could have been cheaper too. She told me pay whatever I yeah, want. Yeah, and and he. Well, and then you're you, a cheapskate. No, no, <laughs> no. no <laughs> hold on. That's a fifty dollars blowjob. A normal massage is fifty bucks. I tip. A uh, normal oh. massage is fifty bucks. Not, Where are you going? Well, I, my wife. No, it was eighty dollars for the hour. Wait, it's only fifty bucks. Oh. And then you tipped her for my god. That, I mean, this is a cheap. Yeah, uh, dude, like, you got like, a deal. Yeah, for you did a full because honestly, most. Oh, that's a better deal than our fucking Land Cruiser. I, I'm. <laughs> If we can get blowjobs at the land we can't even compete. You know what? If you are listening to this, cancel your pod and just go get that, because that's just way better. You can't cancel no reasons. We got you! We got you! (laughs) Sorry. <laughs> I did that. It's fine. Also, it's fine. That is true. You got, we're we're, we're going to be sold out. You can probably uh, scalp them. Uh, well, so. For those that, those that don't get a pod, go get a blowjob instead. Yeah, and, right. But right. Uh, I, I'm just saying, if this now, was accepted. Do you think she would do the same for a girl? You know what I mean? With oh, the mouth? That's a lot oh, more. It's yeah, a more intimate a, uh, thing, I think. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's, that's, it's it's a but, but going over think, somebody's body parts and going in somebody's body parts is way different. Well, not any. You just not go in over. No, uh, you go in. No, 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 no. What are you doing? I don't know. Well, no, that. you go. You, but no, it's no, at the top. You're concentrated on the top. Yeah, just, but occasually there's, get the, you know. No, no, I don't know about that. There's, I don't know. You got to dip in a little bit. No, it's not like I'm stabbing it like a sword. You do. I mean, maybe you're. No, no, like no, I know what Tom does. Tom no. does this. He puts his tongue straight out and then no. he does this. <laughs> no, no he does that weird ass no. tongue fucking. No, no, no. Come on, don't, right. don't oh, talk I about that. I can see you're a tongue <laughs> fucker. I, I, I knew he was a tongue fucker. I know. I don't do it. Yeah, of that. you do. Uh, DJ Khaled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. 
Uh, wow. Well, the chunks, are you going to go now? Is this going to be a are regular yeah. thing? Because I'm not joking. It would be hard if, like, I was a single guy and then I found that this, well, like, I got to know this lady. Or Dude, at least if I were I, in college, I was a are you regular, crazy? Like, I have the best grades ever. This may be a once or twice a month thing that I would yeah. budget money to Every do. two weeks, I would yeah. go. Because you know how hard it is to get one of those normally? Yeah, and then, you, like, and then you know her and then you very hard. Does she <laughs> charge? Especially wonder, you're married. Like, would... Is it fair to assume that you would charge more for a bigger dick? More dick no, stuff? No, 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 no. They're pros. No, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pros no, it's, and it's, it's one <laughs> okay. uh, So uh, how well, often... Whatever, you know they should charge for how much comes out. No, no, no. no. Because that's where it gets difficult, um, you know? If you're like, let's go, stop! You know, like... Eat no. some watermelon before you go in there? Yeah. I, 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 though we all are surprised there was no condom involved. That does seem yeah. odd for a Did sex Did you worker. think about you it? You do or? might want to get checked, uh, you know, well, the, for something. If you don't got any sores, I think you're good. No, you, know? I mean, yeah. you guys yeah. need to bind your business. Yeah, the mask it, on. It, 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 I'm the source. It, 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 <laughs> that's, a, like, that's why she wanted the behind the mask. Oh man, so crazy. Now, now like fucking Baraka. Yeah. So you got, I you got sore or something about it? <laughs> huh? I said sober. I am much more worried about it, but you know. Well, that's me with everything. We'll that when we come to it. What drugs were you on? Yeah. Uh. I'm not gonna name names, but it is definitely one of the least socially acceptable. No. Heroin. No. Yeah. <laughs> you were on heroin and you got, a, you got herpes. That's fucking awesome. Heroin and herpes. Uh, What'd you guys talk about no, today? Well, one of our listeners called heroin. in. He he's, was on a heroin. No. Well, hey, daddy, 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 it's me, Maisie. What'd you talk about? What'd you, Mr. Tom, what, talk about? What's your job? Today? Well, I, uh, a buddy of ours, Chungus, he called in. He did heroin. He got a blowjob from an old lady. And a t- table shower, and uh, My and uh, no condom on him. So, oh uh, man! So, hey, how about that Land Cruise, man? <laughs> 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 I tell you about the Land Cruise. Did I tell a, you about the Land Cruise? It's pretty doing? amazing with, 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 with Mr. Tom. Is it? What is it? Is nothing matters at all? You're anonymous. Just nothing tell us. Nothing may matter. Nothing may matter. Is it math? So uh, you're not. Yeah. What? Just tell us. No, that. it's not. No. The reason. The reason okay. that okay. I'm. Still not one to name it is because I know there are a few BDMs that will probably recognize my voice, and I don't want to be confronted about it. That's heroin. That's well, Sammy Crack on Mike. The line. Yeah. <laughs> well, Chungus, thanks for telling us your story. That was uh, riveting. That I, was. I feel like I think that's as close as we've ever come. Because he did a good job. We've had other guys call in and try to do this, but I, f- I really felt the massage with Chungus. <laughs> Something tells me, though, that this ain't going to last, and that's not the same experience everybody well, gets. Well, he's a drug I, addict. I, I wrote, no, 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 I'm saying, like, uh, I, I've heard the massage parlor and the they happy burn hot for a minute, yeah. But it's always a hand. I uh, I feel like the mouth. She's you, trying to get the customer you know to come I back. Want? Yeah. You know what I want? I, want, I don't there. want a hand. I don't want mouth. I don't want vagina. Give me the massage, and then afterwards, polite me at, uh, politely ask me if I want anal. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, Chungus. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll but talk not to you on you, in me. If you go back, tell us about your second experience, because yeah, I'm curious do. to see if it's a hey, like wait, the first. Could we, we all go get checked could out. Could we send him Some there comments? under, and then give him like a game, like, my favorite show is Impractical. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, can't say that with, I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> Give and then AirPods, we put him in yeah. earpiece, and yeah. then we're like, okay, now fart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I would that. definitely be afraid of some, like, gangsters coming out from the back and murdering me for but that. But you said yeah. she was alone. You were sure. Uh, you're not going to get murdered for farting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? Did this motherfucker fart on you? They'll, they'll kick your flanks. And come <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, they'll take your money. Flanks, though, man. <laughs> oh, he's playing uh, into uh, it now. Uh, John, uh, John. <laughs> John. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but we gotta go to break. Um, uh, that was a fun ride. Yeah, we only got one email. You know, Woody yeah, we it, only got through one email. Yeah, that story. Fine. When yeah, he put his fine. money on the sandals, it all. Yeah. Yeah, okay, but just, I like that he drawed the line at. Uh, I'll have a stranger suck my dick, but I won't tell you what drug I did. No, <laughs> <laughs> no condom. But the drug stigmas are real, uh, man. It's, uh, it must yeah. be real bad. It uh, it is crazy that I mean, think about how many people would do that and pay for it. And I think we probably underestimate how many people actually right. do yeah, it. They, but I'm trying to be honest with my answer, and I don't. I really don't want people to because based on Tom's 
like example. He's saying if society deemed it differently, if wives deemed it differently, if this were like an actual thing, well, then that, it dude, be, brothels should be legal. Yeah, it could be taxed because they, could be, they're, exactly they're, they're, safer. It's, it's, but the imagine, goddamn sex slavery. I apologize right. for making so many jokes, but it's real. But if it's yeah. medical, yeah. like take a medical approach, and, and and some people in that space, in the sex worker space, they do. Yeah. yeah, and you, you can know, be safe but, about it. Yeah, there's and and there are cam girls that are completely. It's as, literally as safer legitimate. for the customer and the person Correct, that works but there. There are sex workers, or cam girls, namely, that are as legitimate as any other business. Like probably more so, maybe even morally better. You know, like right. they just have better morals. They're not going to fuck you over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the sex thing, I understand, is a stigma. I just think it's weird. I wonder if if relationships, some relationships would be saved. Because, like, I know I have a very high libido. And I know that oh, I, yeah. can a, a, uh, I, I, know I can be a. I know I can be annoying as fuck. Those are two separate things. If you put <laughs> those two things together, though, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I know that I run hotter than Andrea. And most of the time, guys run hotter than girls. So I wonder if if we just skewed it just to... Uh, I wonder if it could save a marriage, you know? Oh, or, I don't know. Like, yeah. a lot of wives out there don't want to uh, blow their chungus husband. Yeah. You know what I'm like, yeah. I, 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 I as much wanna, as he wants it. Look, I agree. I don't want to blow a fat guy. <laughs> yeah. So as I stand right now, if somebody said, do you want to blow a fat guy? But I don't think so. He can't go get the service because the wife would be mad. But right. he's like, I just want... I don't, I'm don't. i not in love with this person. You know, yeah. like, it's a, but... I can't get the poison out. <laughs> yeah. It uh, I didn't, we'll never get there. Um, the name <laughs> of the band is Bad Bar or, uh, 68. Sorry, the name of the song is uh, Bad Bite. I got ahead of myself there. The name of the band 68. Um, these guys are awesome. It's a two piece. Two piece are popular now, not just in fried chicken. We'll be back with more on Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan momentarily. One eight four four T O M the letter N D A N or show at TomandDan.com. Go. And here they are, the Sports Authority Dance Club. <laughs> dumb old man. <laughs> We're going to talk to that dumb old man, I believe, on Monday. Go on. Uh, well, Go no, on. he, look, when it's a friend, it's clowning because you only you always hurt the ones you love. You told me that uh, yesterday. We, uh, I can't talk today. We, uh, we'll we talk to him about that story. That, that's going to be my on, favorite story. It's going to be on this Monday's BD. Oh, we're Charlie. talking about Bubba. And yeah, yes, yeah. he did. And it was, I, I looked it up, it was sponsored by the Sport Auto Group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same uh, folks. So, uh, Don Mealy, Sport Subaru, Sport Mitsubishi, right there on West Colonial Drive, the heart of Orlando, in front of the fairgrounds right there. I got two cars from them. Uh, actually, three, well, no, if you count my you're... wife's uh, pre-owned Traverse that she bought the first time. Well, you've got four. Well, that's just from Sport Subaru, Sport Mitsubishi. Oh, uh, and okay, then, okay. then I've got, uh, of course, uh, my Silverado from Don Millie Chevrolet yep. in Claremont, and my wife just bought her brand new Traverse yes. from Don Millie Chevrolet in Claremont. Yeah, you're so, crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, uh, nuts. Yeah, uh, so uh, it's funny. I never had any new cars at all. No car. Crazy. It's uh, and they will give you a deal. They'll hook you up. If they know you're a Tom and Dan listener, they're going to treat you VIP. Talk to Mike Stacks over there at Sports Subaru, Sports Mitsubishi. Yeah, that's the dealer with no dealer fee. People drive yeah, yeah. to go to that p- specific location so they can save a little bit money. Like Tom says, Mike Stacks is, is your guy there. Yeah. On the Chevy side of things, we got J.C. Harrelson. He is Mr. Corvette. I mean, the guy knows his way, mm-hmm. and his family has basically loved Corvettes. I mean, yeah, yeah, for decades. Yeah. And he, you get the wealth of that knowledge. You also get him on the truck side of things. If you're in the market like Tom, you want that tried and true, awesome Silverado or a nice work truck or van or anything like that. Yep. He's your Chevy guy. 100%. So go talk to our guys at both our dealerships. Uh, do what I did. Buy five different cars. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you'll be happy. Oh, no. oh come on. Oh. Women and spare parts. I hope you get a fine understanding of the mess of a life that I stand in. Yeah. Crazy, right? This is Bubba Whoopass Wilson's son, Josh. I knew him as Joshy, you know, yeah, like when he was yeah, that. Yeah. Now, I believe I'm supposed to, let's, let's do this right. This is Wilson the Hippie with his song, Joshua. Okay, that's what, that's what he goes yep, by, Wilson, Wilson, the, Wilson hippie. the Hippie. Yep, and uh, he looks exactly like his dad. They will be in here on Monday for the BDM show. Not a BDM. I did that by design. Wanted to play the song. Hopefully, you'll sign up. Give it a try. 
Just uh, sign up at TomAndDan.com. Last time I saw Josh was at some event. Yeah. Um, God damn. He's I mean, a like, great drummer, good musician. Over like 15 years ago or something like that, maybe like uh, between 10 and 15 years ago. Um, and I don't know. How That's old crazy. is he now? 26. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, Bubba told is me it? that. It, yeah. Bubba told me I that. And I- it bl- it, there have been very few times, I, I think because of because I've done some things by design to extend my childhood. Yeah. I still play video so. games. Extends the childhood. I'm covered in tattoos. Extends the childhood, at least for me. Other people do them for different reasons. Tons of music. Extends the childhood. The way that I dress, you know? But when Bubba told me, when he goes, yeah, uh, tw- he's 26, I was... It killed me, dude. Yeah. I'm like, whoa! And then we're going to do the stereotypical old man thing when he comes in here on Monday. We're going to be like, I remember you when you were 15. I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I, I remember when people used to do that with me, like my, some of my mom's it. friends or my You're dad's friends. growing friend. like a weed. And like, I remember you when you were five. And I'm like, who cares, old man? I don't remember that. And uh, of course, that's how <laughs> time works. <laughs> I grow old. Yes, you saw me 15 years ago. I was younger. God, what an asshole. This <laughs> he hates no, I'm just saying. <laughs> and then I'm going to do it to him, and he's going to be like, you dumb old man, that's how it works. Uh, yes, 15 years has passed. Uh, good for you. I was just pretty what? jazzed about it, because we all know we all know and love Bubba here. You know, this show is pro-Bubba. We always have been. We've tried to help him. We have helped him. Uh, and it sounds like he's doing really good, still working with our friend Shannon Burt, mm. doing that thing. And uh, and he does that one day a week, so you can support him. But I, I honestly think that, he must I, be happy his son's doing music. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, sure, yeah. Well, we started to talk about that, and then I asked him. I did something that you and I typically do. I go, hey, bub, I'd love to have this conversation with you right now. He also said some pretty hilarious things that I will hopefully he'll say on the show. We'll go into. But I, let's just do this on the show because, like, you know, it, he sounds really good. Josh's music is really good. I just want to I, I want to kind of hear it for the first time here. Yeah, How check much? out a SoundCloud. I put it in the yeah, uh, go the in there and chat. throw in okay. some likes and some listens. And we need to talk to a BDM that has a child that is in the same industry they are and like doing the same thing they are because I wonder like. How much more... You mean working for? Then, no, right, no. I was going to say, no, does no, that count? No, no, not working for, but just ended up doing the same thing. So, like, if you were an engineer or something, and then your uh, your child's an engineer, right. or whatever the hell it is, um, because, I like, does that make you more proud? Are you happier than if they did some other random thing? I, d- I would never know that. My dad, I, I'll go on what I know. My dad told me he never wanted me to work in his industry. My dad never wanted me to be a salesman. My, my dad said the same thing. Yeah, it, he, my, that must be an old 80s dad thing where, like, my dad told my mom. Or that, maybe it's just because they didn't like their job. They mm-hmm, thought yeah. you wouldn't correct. like the job. That is correct. Like, mm-hmm. they wanted if, better. Had a fun, if your dad's had a fun job. They wanted better. Like, like my, driving I, a, a forklift on paint No, but my like, dad. <laughs> no, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Awesome. That does sound awesome. I would leave this job to do that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's the best job. I, 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 I mean, not, I mean, like, look, this. I know we're not known for our positivity, but I think I did it. Like, I think before my dad died, we had started this. And again, I'm not making this uh, negative. I'm making this positive. I think this job checked all the boxes that my dad like would have wanted me to do a job. Okay, like, like I that, think that's what that, he yeah, thought. He, okay. he remember remember his words to you and I. Mm. Never stop doing the podcast because he knew what it was like to be controlled by a, a corporation to to have them suck the fun out of right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and remember, he said no, no matter what you do, don't because uh, and he said that quote um, because we were getting hammered. By bigger businesses, and he, he's a good businessman for a guy that didn't have uh, a college education. Damn good businessman. And uh, any good businessman knows that when they're mad at you because you're doing something that's seemingly successful, it's only because they're not doing it, and they want to shut down something so great. And he yeah. knew it. But it, it it has to be more like that sense of pride. Like if someone, if one of your kids end up doing like even like in music industry, like Bubba has always been in music his entire yeah. life, right? And then his son's now Saved him, yeah. doing music yeah. and not professionally yet. But what if this turns into like how your proud scale got to be higher than if he just successful same amount of okay, money but doing a, total like you know work for can uh, I throw a wrench in your equation? A deal car dealer. Let me throw a wrench in your equation. Yeah. You okay? Yes, I do think that your proud level is pegged. It's a it's a it's a curse, right? So if Tommy and Max decide came in one day 
and told you, and I'm being serious here, I'm not making a joke, yeah. they came in one day, and you're, you know, doing something, you come home from work, and they were like, hey, you got a second dad? You're like, oh, sure, I'll go a second. And you walk in there, I'm really trying not to fuck this all up and, and goof on you, and then they're like, hey, we've wanted to do a laser cast for a long time, we had some old equipment around here, and we put something together, and we're kind of hoping you'd listen to it, maybe give us some pointers. And you listen to it, and you realize that they actually have the gift of gab. They're good at doing it, and they're doing... I think you'd have a mixture, right, of both not wanting them to do it because of, A, you're planning an event, you're pulling your pompadour out, you're freaking out, this is a hard business, it's weird. Pull the pomp. And there'd be, like, you'd be overwhelmed that they're yeah. super proud of them because they're yeah. doing something for their greatest hero, but which is death. Would you be proud or jealous if they became wildly more successful than you? No, no, no. I'm proud. <laughs> I'd be proud. I'd be proud. Like Joe Rogan level. Uh, I'm such a narcissist <laughs> that I look at them as an extension of me, <laughs> yeah, he does. and whatever they achieve, I claim a I think I just followed a doo doo fly. Like, I'll, if they win the Super Bowl, like, I won the Super Bowl. I think a wise man once said, Once a monster, always a monster. And I believe it was you. <laughs> Whatever my sons do, I am, they're an extension of me, and I will claim that I have now. <laughs> Done what they've done. No <laughs> just, matter what. Yeah, do. just whatever they Except achieve, the I achieve. Except the bad stuff. Except the bad stuff. Even the bad stuff. <laughs> I murdered those people. <laughs> Good uh, to know if I was dying, no one would help me. <laughs> uh, Only you, Butler noticed. It depends on what you're dying. I saw you hacking it up. Like I'm pretty a cat. sure yeah. I, I just swallowed a doo doo fly. And, uh, oh, they're uh, flying around there. It like, went straight to the back well, of my throat. What are we supposed to do? You're not laying on a shower table with a condom on. Here's why I'll never get the satisfaction no of my sons oh. uh, bego- of asking me that because they have uh, their house. Half my wife. And then Juan <laughs> said you're Britney Spears' dad. <laughs> the old Jamie Spears. Oh, if I could get him under the thing. Well, no, he doesn't even know the word. <laughs> yes. I'll get him. I'll get him. Anyway, so if they uh, they have a little bit, or, you know, half my wife, and my wife <laughs> hates when someone explains anything to her be, that's me or anybody well, that's probably her mostly family. you. Yeah, it's my well, her family, too, or anybody like It sounds like what you just said is your wife hates it when anyone in her family talks to her. <laughs> Not talk to her. <laughs> explains how to do a job. And we make this joke and that like uh, sometimes her dad wants to tell her about the insurance industry and this just drives her insane. Like, yeah, she but can't she's not it. in that industry. No, I know, but it, it was like if uh, if I explain how podcasting, all yeah, but the, she's not in that industry. She needs to, some good explaining. Uh, I explain to Andrea all the time. I'll help you. Yeah, um, mansplain. It, no, that, I, I try not to. It, it's like one th- like anytime I try to teach myself, we're pup puck off, and then uh, they're whack. The goddamn clubs like a crazy wild man, and then I'm like, let me tell you how like you bend your knees, uh, the feet got to be shoulder width apart. I like it, and then they're like, get out, I can do it myself. <laughs> and then they oh, did, stubborn. They hate being uh, like taught anything. Uh, so that's gonna be good for them in life. They, if they wanted to do a podcast, they're like, I'll do it myself. And Sometimes I'll, it's I'll try to give though, them. A, yeah. You will figure things out. Let's go to our chat room. A couple people asking questions. Um, burr, 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 burr. Uh, so people want to know about your hair. No, uh, why it's so you got flat any and why you're freaking out. Because it's he's freaking out because of the land cruise, guys. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I was uh, habit, habit, habit. frantically uh, touching my hair all day, and then uh, then I was uh, the microphone rec- or the headphones recording commercials yeah. on and off. It this happens. Yeah, that's just more on Friday because it's uh, Fridays are rough. It's uh, it's not our normal, you know, routine. Yeah. So uh, again, falling into the old man routine. I can't get this uh, massage table uh, chungus thing out of my brain. <laughs> let's uh, let's do some voicemail. Oh, All right. Right. Mm. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, I I pick some out for you. I'm gonna go with. Uh, let's go with this guy right here. He uh, he kind of ruined his wife's webinar. Hey, Tom Dan. So I was watching the BDM show earlier while EMF was here since they got uh, rescheduled. And during that time, once they were uh, ready to leave, my wife is on a uh, a WebEx with, you know, 20-something banks. And whenever, you know, EMF decided to leave, I was just going to pull the car inside the garage and just be done with it. So I jump in the car, and it's blasting, she thinks my tractor's sexy. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and pull in. So I start pulling in, and then all of a sudden, the car steals her Bluetooth connection. <laughs> and now I'm blasting, she thinks my tractor's sexy, to all these CEOs of banks and whatnot. And I just thought that was a nice bad-at-life moment. This is a tactical app. Um, see you, guys. 
<laughs> there you go, little tactical hat. So her Bluetooth Norm called it. picked up his cell phone. Yeah, okay. it'll take over. I've done it like mm-hmm. mistakenly. Thankfully, uh, Andrea doesn't use the Bluetooth aspect to. She's all wired in, but yeah, it'll do it to her computer because it's right. Her office is right next to the garage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when I come in, it'll start to try and wrangle with it. You can see it. Oh, I turned on uh, one time. I jumped in Crystal's car to go somewhere or whatever, and when I started a car, all of a sudden, her so she was talking to some client that was trying to buy a house, and then it popped in like he's like, "Hello," I'm like, "Who is this?" <laughs> so PD, he's like, "Tom," and I'm like, "It's me." I don't know how I'm talking to you, and she's like, "I was talking to your wife." I'm like. Oh, okay. Well, she's nice too. What are you Technology. doing? It's amazing that more chaos hasn't happened to me because of Bluetooth and technology and my lack of understanding. Yeah, we how to will. Deal with Wait till we get the red. <laughs> when we get the red tooth, you're if, if I was <laughs> you're done. If I was secretly a bad person or racist or all these other things, like it would be, I'd be ruined <laughs> because of them. I my for sure my conversations would be oh, broadcast. Yeah. Everything I wrote would be on everything. Like anyway, yeah. Guess who I have. Who? I think I have Ross. Okay. Let's do right. it. I'm calling an audible. I'm, oh, okay. I'm jumping right to him because I can. Here. Ross's piece of shit news. News today brought to you by Johnny's Other Side. It's just going to end oh, like sorry, that. Oh, yeah. sorry. Okay. Abrupt. Uh, yeah. No lasers. lasers. Yeah, no, no lasers today. We're laser free. Now, hopefully we can hear him. I didn't test any of this, but I like to do mm. stuff like this. Ross, can you hear us? Check one, check yeah! two, check three. All we right. did it. See, that's right. the important part. The, the intro, that's fine, but Ross is, we got to get the guy there. Ross, when's the last time you went to Johnny's? I went to Johnny's with Bart Merrick a week ago. Yeah. Got that yeah. beet burger. I yeah, saw. I saw I that. I got too. the tots. I got the beet burger. They unsolicited put like a little smiley face sauce on it. They take care of you there at Johnny's. It's fucking awesome. And the beet burger too, guys. Uh, like Ross said in his post, do not sleep on it. I know what you're thinking. Beets. I don't know about that. Just give it a shot. It's very, very tasty. And and then after you eat it the day after, you think you're dying. Well, you're that I wasn't going to say that part. Yeah, I wasn't going to say that Well, you just have to remind yourself. Um, also, $3 craft beers, and they got koozies and magnets there if you want them. Indeed. Uh, and if you haven't been there in a while, they completely redid the other side. The other side has like a, a brand new roof. Yeah. Uh, it's completely co- covered from the elements, but like open to the air. They got like a little back area that's covered in an astroturf. It's really nice. I think uh, the Orlando Advanced Fingering Club meets there on Thursdays. <laughs> oh, I love that. Tom, you'll be down there then, right? Uh-huh. Are you still teaching that? or I? You, you had to pull back on some of the charity <laughs> stuff you do, right? You used to volunteer there. I mean, Ross, he did that for years. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to yes and with me today, Ross. He doesn't want to play along today, Ross. You want to know why? You want to know why? why? He's, he's fucking grumpy. He's being a grumpy uh-huh. asshole today. <laughs> You know what? That's interesting. I thought of him and possible grumpiness. I was reading a thing. I, I probably saw it on Reddit yesterday. Uh, they Somebody did a, a, a nice paper on uh, they don't really, when you come in to get diagnosed and you think maybe you have a mental issue or something, they don't ever really consider caffeine. And caffeine uh, can be can trigger a lot of things that, that make you feel anxious oh. or like... Uh, it's actually in the DSMV a couple times. They call it like caffeine anxiety, uh, like sleeplessness due to caffeine. I think one of them was even just like generalized caffeine uh, nervousness or some shit. And I thought about Tom the other day uh, switching to caffeine when I read that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's part of my sleeping problem. Yeah. Like, I'm well, just yeah. too well, much he, caffeine. He's really, he's really mad, though, because his wife changed the. the oh, the lunch the routine. routine. Okay, let's talk about Ross. Uh, well, he's I think if I have to listen about this bento box bullshit, <laughs> it, well, too much more. I'm going to have to quit. You're about to hear it with Ross. And, I, and then Ross hopefully I, I, will, will weigh in. Because, look, sometimes I, when you have a question, you got to go to the Oracle. R- Ross, he, the, here he is. We're going to the source. We'll get some good data answers. Hey, we're, we're sitting to make sure nobody puts on my leg and tell me it's raining, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Uh, when did you ever make uh, your kids school lunch? And if you did, what did you make them? Like, do I make their lunch for them to take? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When they were li- now, they're both teens, so they're kind of on yeah. their own. If they want a lunch, they can scrounge it up. It's all there on the shelves, and there's bags and stuff. Yeah, yeah. or you know, they can wait till they get home. And there's food when they get back. But um, they the very few times I made them buy school lunch where I didn't feel like doing it when they were kids. They were not enthused at all. 
<laughs> well, I'm saying like, did you ever pack their lunches? Well, yeah, for when them? you because this has to do with I I packed the I was doing the lunch, uh, and now Crystal wants to do it. Is it an because, ego thing, or do you just hate the bento box? Because I can't figure out why this is bothering no, you so much. Well, because I was doing almost one hundred percent of the time, my kids packed a lunch to school. Is what I'm saying. They, I, whatever, whether it, whether it was just. It ranged from maybe I would like the night before make a nice sandwich and cut up some carrots or cucumbers and make sure they had a juice box or something to like the low end being we just have boxes of stuff from Costco, Cheez-Its and fruit sticks yeah. and juice boxes and, and like a bunch of that stuff just stuffed into a paper bag, like literally right on That's the That's what I the do. Door. That's what I was doing. Ross, 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 you Ross, Ross, you Ross, do the pinto. Ross, You're Ross, making Ross. me do the pinto. I don't do the pinto. I told you yesterday I don't do the goddamn pinto. I do the process bag. <laughs> You can once in a while, but just a bunch of shit from Costco in a paper bag is fine most of the time. That's a good baseline. Thank and you. And by the way, they prefer it to whatever the fuck they're shoveling out at the school because my kids never wanted the school lunch. Never. Yeah. yeah. And uh, also See, my they- daughter eats school lunch, though, now because she likes, like, they have, like, a grilled cheese that she likes and they have something called a, a no nut butter box because. I guess nuts give kids allergies. Or right, right. So she gets the no no nut butter box and then trades that for Pepperidge Farms goldfish. Yeah. I think the main knock on getting school lunch was the fact that unless you basically sprinted to the lunch first, you were in line for 45 to 50 to 75 percent of your lunch to get the lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, anyway, Ross. Let's uh, let's talk news. What do we got today? All right. Well, I mean, it's crazy that you guys abbreviated the lasers because the first story is about lasers. <laughs> Damn uh, it. Our, our U.S. American Army is now developing what is being called the world's most powerful laser. Yeah, you know, this, this is so, awesome. Okay. This is awesome. So this is- I have a source here that is saying uh, that this laser is one million times more powerful than any other laser platform before it. And the way they're packing that punch in there is, okay, so you got to think about lasers like, Tom, think of a um, sci-fi movie, 80s laser, but it's not it's not a space movie. It's about like a scientist on Earth, and he's got like a table-mounted laser, and it's shooting out that continuous beam of light, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your, that's your typical laser right now that they're attacking shit with. So if they want to shoot a drone down now with this laser, they got to track it on the target, and they got to hold it there. And this thing like slowly builds up enough power to like trans that beam has to be on it long enough to transfer enough heat to make the drone either like malfunction or explode or whatever. What they're doing now is they're packing um, uh, this. I'm reading it says here one terawatt for a 200 femtoseconds pulse. Right. In seconds, that's one quadrillionth of a pulse of a second. I'm sorry. One quadrillionth of a second. So super high charge, super short time. They fire these things. This thing hits a drone. Not only does it just emit the drone, it goes through the drone. It bends space and time on the way to the drone. It like um, it also generates an EMP. These oh, things shit. are fucking crazy, dude. Does it's it- more like uh, you know when fucking Captain Picard says, "Ah, shit, they're overwhelming us." Set the phasers on overload, and it sends out just like one big. Yeah, yeah. So is this like, I mean, from what you read, Ross, okay, so I hit the drone with the, the t- so we're going s- tiny duration, but mega size. What's and the then girth it, it of the hits laser? the drone that, the, well, and, <laughs> because if the you know laser, what, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, no, but that makes a difference, right? If, if the girth is a hair, you know, like it barely will do anything. So you want a tuna can laser. <laughs> well, it has to have some girth to leave a hole that is, yeah, a, that would yeah. be, you know what I'm saying? There'll be enough damage. Do you know anything about the girth? <laughs> I got so into this. I actually looked up the scientific brief that they, that they the proposal to develop this thing, basically. Here's what it says. Uh, USPL systems are able to neutralize threats via three distinct mecha- mechanisms. Ablation of material from the target. That basically means it melts like every surface it comes into contact with. Wow. The blinding of sensors through broadband super continuum generation in the air this thing burns and twists the air and basically just overwhelms it with light immediately like at the speed of light any cameras or radar or radio sensors are just pulsed out and the other thing is a general a generation of a localized electronic interference used to overload a threat's internal electronics an emp 
It's a fucking beam of light that generates an electromagnetic pulse that wipes out electronics. Yeah, this reminds me of Gears of War. Somebody said it in the chat room. Who is it? Jay Brewer said it in the chat room. This reminds me of the weapon that you use to kill the locust in Gears of War. <laughs> the Hammer of Dawn. It nice. is a, you you, lo, you 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 have a you're not you're not the weapon. The weapon's a satellite. Yeah. You have to tell the satellite where to hit the bad guy, right? So you use a series of coordinates or your viewfinder to pinpoint this, and then that satellite like hones it in, and then it blasts a completely mega, like super intense light form right on top of it. Ross, uh, kaboom! We're inevitably going to I- invent something that's going to kill everything, right? The word, <laughs> like this is going to le- like. I hope so, buddy. After a while, so. like someone's just going to fuck up, and uh, then we're Oopsies. all going to die because of something. I think we're went there. Wrong, right? It's just the, we like, found a long way out. Like you, you start with this, and you get to the point where all of a sudden you create something that has such an electromagnetic pulse that, but it goes off by accident, and then it just fries every electronic on the world. We go into some sort of apocalypse. Like, I mean. I, I not me. I'm on the old snow piercer. <laughs> this could happen, you know, <laughs> not in our lifetime, but it seems like this humans I'd, constantly. I've been to... following Wonka's ways for years, <laughs> and I made my way onto the train. <laughs> it, it, uh, it's. I'm just saying, it's not going to stop here, right? No. Someone's going to like the whole. I'm going to create a more powerful uh, laser because it gets. It, you do have that sweet spot. Like there's a sweet spot. Well, there probably was like three years ago when you and I wanted those flashlights that when you shine it on a piece of paper, it sets it on fire. <laughs> yeah. then then the flashlight gets too <laughs> out of control. It's like now when you shine the flashlight on a human and incinerate them. Like, that's, not, that's too far. Yeah, I just there. wanted the paper burning. The flashlight. <laughs> you, took it, you took it to extremes. <laughs> they are talking about using these things on people. And, of oh. course, it will burn the fuck out of your skin and blind you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Perf- bad way yeah. To- Perfect for, uh, you know, yeah. uh, when you're rioting. Um, what else we got, Ross? All right, I'm sure you guys heard uh, ladies, Lady, Lady Gaga's dogs were abducted at gunpoint. Yeah. Uh, man actually got shot over her dogs. Uh, now uh, there's an update today. They got the video. Somebody's had like home security video. I saw of that. A uh, car pulls up. A couple of people get out. Guy gets shot. Takes off with the dogs. Guy's left pleading on the ground for his fucking life. It's sad. Yeah, it is sad. <laughs> so I, did they... It's a little more intense than I wanted to view. Right. You know, like, my wife is like, have you seen the Lady Gaga video? You know Andrea. Yeah, shot like, in the fucking chest. Right, Ross yeah. knows Andrea. Andrea's, like, r- r- happy and, like, you know, like, have you seen the Lady Gaga video? I'm like, what happened? She's like, Lady Gaga's talking. I was like, yeah, we talked about the show. She'll watch this video. I watch it. I'm like, I don't want to see that. Yeah, yeah. too much. somebody yeah. get shot. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. And, and now... What I didn't hear in the story, and like, uh, and the question I asked when I first heard, like, did they know it was Lady Gaga? They don't dogs? know yet. Oh. They're still investigating. So that. it could be a random, like, a uh, robbery. It, they did say in the story, like, French bulldogs are like uh, pretty high on the market right now. Coveted, so it could have just yeah. been random, but. I mean, I don't know. So when- you might remember I reported a few weeks ago about the spree of dog nappings yeah. in London, dude. It's an he epidemic did. in lockdown. Dogs are at his- a premium. Ross- People are That's stealing true. Yeah, I didn't free. think about that. Ross yeah. has had his finger on the pulse of this story since day one. And I and you have my word, and I think I can speak for Ross when I say this. If any updates arise, we will be your one-stop shop. Now, usually when, like, if you're committed to an armed robbery, uh, they, I think most armed robbers would rather not shoot their their gun because that's a whole nother crime. Even if you shoot your gun, it doesn't hit anybody. Right. Like and like, especially if you shoot someone, now you're it's attempted murder, armed. Yeah. Like you're going like just having the gun one of the is first one rules thing that, of. So I'm surprised they shot the well, person. The guy was not trying to give up the yeah, Lady he, Gaga's he was, dogs. He was putting up a, a bit of a fight. And I don't know about you, but when I'm like, when I have hostages and they put up fights, I kill them. <laughs> I do. Well, I do. I'm sorry. Also, it seems like if you were a Lady Gaga's dog walker or assistant or whoever was doing that, that'd be a great screen name, wouldn't it? Like, Lady Gaga's <laughs> dog walker, but before the crime, not right, right. pre crime. <laughs> it'd have to be pre crime. Yes, Post crime, you're just you like know. an asshole. I can understand yeah. <laughs> if it's a child or you're trying to protect like someone's child from being kidnapped, but the dogs, you just give them over, right? You, 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 mm, you know, I some people do. like dogs. I, are like their kids. 
I'm gonna. Well, I, I'm gonna tell you. Their, was like their dog. Well, it's not their too. dog. It's Lady Gaga's dog. No, yeah, but they have a relationship. No, with but them. that was yeah, the point. I, I think I'm with Tom on this one. No, but if, if they have Caesar, a gun, you're just like take. I don't want to yeah. be shot over Lady Gaga's dog. Well, you're a coward. If it's Caesar <laughs> and Maggie, I'm, if, I'm a coward because <laughs> I don't want to die over some fucking dog. If it's Caesar and Maggie right now, and I'm walking them out for, out front of the studio, I think I'd probably get shot because I'm not saying that I'm a hero. I'm just saying that I the reaction. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, what the you know? Let me right. But if I am the dog walker, I kind of go with Tom. I kind of be like, not my dogs. Like, well, but also it's like, all right, I'm at gunpoint. I'm basically yeah, there's bigger I, things besides here. for my kids or my wife or something. Like, I'm just giving them whatever yeah. they want under gunpoint. What if it was Butler? Oh no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll give up. Wait, is Butler? Who wants to come here with a gun? Hey, oh you, my are, God. are you they walking say shit like that? <laughs> they can take Butler. Do not say shit like that. <laughs> if I had to guess, what? someone's I would gonna imagine. be like, "Tom said it. I'm going." <laughs> uh, I don't know if you heard about the uh, the Capitol storming. But, uh, <laughs> well, hold on, you guys are the ones that leave. I'll be the only one here. <laughs> Tom said that. I'm going with a gun. <laughs> no, no one's going crazy. Ross knows this. I'll be the one here. Some guy shows up, shoots me full of holes. <laughs> Um, so anyway, yeah, so are they, uh, like, if I had to guess, Tom, I would think that this guy in his head saw the gun pointed at him, had Lady Gaga's dog's leashes in his hand and thought to himself, there's no fucking way these assholes will shoot me over dogs. Right. I'm sure that's the only math that makes him struggling over dogs make sense. He had to just think in his head. You know, there's no way these guys are going to shoot him, and, and he, he was proved wrong in this instance, I, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, shit, I don't mean to blame, like I'm saying, like it's somehow his fault. Like, obviously, uh, it's cr- fucking crazy people with guns' yeah. fault. But I'm just trying to put myself in the scenario, and I think my job becomes more of a job when my life's on the line. Also, I assume they're they have chips and whatever the most expensive possible thing is. So I think these dogs will be worth nothing on the unless they cut the chips out of their necks or whatever. Oh, a million dollar reward for these. Things. I'm so sorry. I mm. was just thinking potato chips. When you said that. <laughs> I have no idea what you were saying. No, but you know, like they probably have some expensive. You would think, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's low jacking dogs. How fucking? No, there is. Yeah, there there's is. There's the, the chips. Chip, the, the, well, the chip. The you have to scan it though. It's yeah. not like it's a. Yeah, but but I'm saying they have trackers on them. But though. aftermarket, if you're selling some expensive French. Bulldogs uh, on the black market. But you know what? They'll eventually probably go to a vet somewhere, but if and the I vet worked, will scan their right. chip, right? And be like, this is Lady Gaga. If I dog. was working at, you know, I don't know, Castleberry Veterinarian Hospital, and a French Bulldog comes in, and I scan his chip, and it says owner, and it says Lady Gaga, I'm like, well, this guy's a Weisenheimer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'll change that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you may be right, but but also, I think those chips are like, uh, like you can't change, that's the whole thing, right? It's like, you can't just go in there and rewire them, or change the name. Oh, uh, look, we got Mr. Chips <laughs> I don't know, here. right? Like That's Mr. the whole chips. purpose? <laughs> like So you can't just uh, change them willy-nilly, do whatever you want? I think it's why I change Caesar's chip daily. <laughs> Right. What's the next story, Ross? They, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I had to hello. pull them down. We had, no, sorry. We had a little bit of feedback. I was just pulling it down to get rid of it. There you go. I asked for my Wi-Fi to be tots, and the guy said, okay. And uh, But he accidentally put in POTUS, and we just let him go with it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh... Oh, also, I wanted to talk about, like, how much can you resell French Bulldogs? Like even at a what thousand bucks a piece? More than that? I think they're more than twenty five hundred. I think you someone said go. in the uh, in the feed that it was three to five thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, okay, they're, so they're, it could be worth like really ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. Well, know. Lady Gaga is offering five hundred thousand for the return of them. Oh yeah, they they screwed up by yeah, kidnapping. A her little bit of that is also. That she has five hundred. Well, of course, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Oh, yeah. You know they're not worth that. No, 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 no. Yeah, She's, I mean, even the love, though, I'm saying, is not worth that. They'll probably just release these dogs, right? Because for sure, the people that uh, oh, no, I, stole I, these, I'd kill them. They no. I'm, well, I'm saying it's like, <laughs> what's in the box? I would. I would. <laughs> Could the dogs like identify <laughs> the like wow. if they? I'm just saying no. Say the the uh, you release the. Well, my I, both of my dogs right now identify as cats, which is very odd. <laughs> Next story, Ross. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, wow, Dan. Uh, this is a weird lead into this story. I thought Tom was going to get canceled on this story, but uh, let's see where it goes. You guys know I'm a bird watcher now. I devote a lot of time to putting out seed for and watching birds okay. in my backyard. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't tell you about the bird cam. I set up a camera in my backyard where I can like watch oh, the birds no. and seed off my fucking uh, fire pit, right? That's awesome. 
It's pretty sweet. And, uh, <laughs> Hold on. See, you know, no, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. I don't know. No, no, don't you dare, because I'm going to get a sweet password for this bird cam, and I'm going to relax myself while I'm smoking some marijuana. <laughs> you can watch birds, and you, you can go online. and no, watch. I, I want to watch Ross's You can birds. watch a million hours of Planet Earth, the most fascinating birds. Yeah. And, no, but these either. birds were 20 feet away from me smoking weed, and I didn't see them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, the birds were smoking weed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but you just got some regular Publix brown bird. and like Stop. a. Oh, I'm just saying, know. we don't have like an Amazon no, no, dancing no. bird or anything. No, no. Like, what's interesting <laughs> about it? How could it be that good? And this is why Bird Wednesday died. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. We get a bunch of blue jays. We get a bunch of uh, woodpeckers. Mm-hmm. Uh, we get a bunch of cool fucking birds. Uh, I, my, one of my favorites is, is a little guy called a painted bunting. It's this tiny little like wren looking bird that looks like a fucking painter spilled his whole palette on it. Oh, I love And it. so, like, that guy's super bright. He rolls with a bunch of ladies who are all like just kind of it's hard to say plain but just they're a flat green right we don't show off as much and that's kind of the thing in the bird world for example cardinals the bright red guy is the is the guy and the lady cardinals a little bit like uh same shape looks exactly the same a little duller in color maybe an orange into like a whitish kind of color i have a couple right out here and i i have one and she is almost a a almost like a vibrant clay color like georgia Right, like, you know, like that's she's got a clay color, and the boy he is like our red, like bright, bright, bright red, and he is loud as fuck, man. Cardinals are loud. Tom and hates we, this. We, <laughs> I got this a whole man thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Ross. I couldn't hear you because Mr. Grumpy over here uh, was stepping on. Say, like, I'm this... sorry. Say something nice, Ross, while Mr. Grumpy over here fucking hates Not birds. Saying this shits like, on our show. It's under the category of stamp collecting. There's an old man <laughs> like painting a model D. Or, oh, or, like... or propagating plants. Uh, uh, get him. Get him. Or, or, gambling, or gambling at the dog track. Uh, <laughs> Do you guys want to talk about coins? I've been reading about a coin. <laughs> <a whole> lot, <laughs> <laughs> Gambling is funner than watching birds. <laughs> no matter what. And it's like a sprinkling of animals. What abuse. if you can bet on <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Which is also, I mean, it's not not fun. Anyway. So, uh, by the way, I got a theory that birds uh, are polygamous, but we'll get back to that. Uh, I uh, So, the, uh, the Cardinals uh, in Pennsylvania, this guy got a photo. He's got a Cardinal uh, and this is a professional bird guy, by the way. It's th- he's a documenter. Uh, this guy, the the bird looks like Two Face from Batman. It's half red cardinal, half lady cardinal on the other side. It's a um, it's a half female, half male cardinal. That's like, cool. Almost like those it, old. Oh no, Ross will know what I'm talking about. Do you remember the old? Uh, male and female impersonators where one side of their face would be oh, yeah. Michael Jackson yes. and the other side would be Diana Ross and they would right. do duets and they'd sing both parts so this side they'd be yeah. like my first love yeah. and then they'd be like I know you are my yeah, and they'd be yeah, like do yeah, both yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, as a kid I was like when I grow up I'm gonna be a two-faced <laughs> male and female impersonator <laughs> and nothing's fucking stopping me there, uh, now like I've seen <laughs> on TikTok they have but they put a mirror on their face have you seen that one where they split their face with a custom mirror so that from the mirror image it looks like their whole head because only and then they just switch back and forth but they're doing the same no like, I want like, a fucking mirror I want <laughs> this old school i want it like, real people style <laughs> dan will forte does it on 30 rock as jenna and it's it's fucking choice I, oh I'm yeah yeah yeah. are you watching mr mayor at all uh no i had my wife watched it and she she did say i gotta catch up on it yeah but I, not I, I okay i would like to see what you think of that we'll talk so okay. ross is this bird actually like can switch gender or is just looks like a female and looks like a male of its bird species there's no switching happening, Tom. Half the bird is female and half of it is male. And it's, uh, I lost the actual uh, uh, words of it all, but it's, okay, it's uh, um, basically the mama bird got impregnated by two different sperm in the same egg, like one male, one female, and they both kind of gestated and made the same bird. So it's just, it's a half lady, half man bird. Oh, I can explain this to him. Okay, huh. do you remember, watch this, Ross. Do you remember when I had the problem and my garage door was going up at the same time that my neighbor's garage door was going down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the lady that came, like, she'd never seen anything like it in her 20 years of, you know, working in garage doors. Like, this has never happened. Yeah. And then she figured out through talking to the people and talking to me that it was when I was putting my garage door down, they were programming their new remote, and it just happened to pick that up. Yeah, yeah. And both things were happening 
at the same time, but it just happened because Genetic both things anomaly, were yeah. happening at the same time. I think that's what Ross is saying. It's both things are happening at the same time. Precision garage door. <laughs> I'm this, way, Tom. this bird has they they pretty sure this bird has one functioning ovary. And one functioning testy. That's yeah. kind of fucking cool because you got all you need. It's like, you know, I hear people say you only need one kidney, right? And I'm like, well, why the fuck do I got two? And so have they <laughs> caught have they caught this bird and like and they have it at, in some sort of lab? Some lady saw it in her backyard and she like reported it to the bird authorities. So they sent the <laughs> bird cops out mm. to confirm. And this guy at first thought it might be this thing where like a bird will lose pigmentation on like maybe half or even more of its body that's way more common but this guy went out and like verified no this seems to be he got a bunch of high resolution photos uh that seems to confirm the fact it is like uh, it is a bird that is basically in half i sucked this bird's dick and i ate its pussy <laughs> it's confirmed uh, so <laughs> that's not a someone's got to catch this right and that's what we do that. i knew you were doing that, that. that. It's like those kids that found the albino. What was it? It was a hairless sloth. A hairless and, uh, sloth. And these, <laughs> these Amazon kids found oh, this hairless sloth. Beat it to death, and they're like yeah. having. I guess they're running through the the Amazon, having fun, and they're like, "Hey, look, a sloth. Hey, it's hairless." No, and they didn't know what it was. That's like, why they killed. I think they thought it was an alien. Yeah, yeah they're yeah, like yeah. beat it to death with a stick. Yeah. Anytime humans find some anomaly, we kill it or enslave it. That's what a human. I way. killed an ugly old lady right in front of our studio this morning <laughs> yeah. as I was walking out. Yeah, and I bashed her head with a coquina rock. Uh, so, but it, this is would be a prize. Are you allowed to just catch a wild bird yeah. and then just keep it as a pet? Yep. There's no I rules, sure so. right? Like, can, <laughs> but you can't do that I mean, with all animals. The, I feel like can you do the, that with a deer? Hold on. Uh, yes, yeah, I feel like <laughs> the day that somebody comes to me and is like, "Hey, do you hear about it? That we can't even go outside now and capture a bird." <laughs> And uh, and keep it for the rest of our lives. And I'd be like, well, I don't want to live anymore. I, hold, on. <laughs> hold on, there's certain. I mean, there's certain birds that are protected. Like you can't do that with yeah, an I'm alligator. Sure, if it's anything protected, you can't do it with an eagle. You can't do it with an eagle. Eagle, pelican. Can you do it with a hawk? Yeah, hawks are no. fine. I heard. Good luck. I heard Biden was working on an executive order to ban fully automatic birds. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. He'll take your birds. I know that. So you can He'll just sniff them for sure. He'll sniff them first, then take them. Can you catch as many birds as you want and then put them in captivity? Just no, whatever. No, that you cannot do. You can catch as many as you want and love them, but you can't release them in the captivity. <laughs> uh, next story, Ross. I will tell you the little house on the prairie uh, when the blackbirds were eating all Paul's corn, he reluctantly started shooting them, and they found out blackbirds are pretty good eating. <laughs> okay, I love that. And I let it burn because it was supposed to burn. But there is a Michael Landon documentary that I okay. I'm going I I almost sent it to. Lately, I've been texting Ross in the middle of the night because I can't sleep, and I realize that well, he's the only person I think of that could possibly be still awake at the time. But I'm going to send you that. Let's watch the Michael Landon documentary. <laughs> so you're watching Little House of the Prairie and bird watching. And, 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 and he the has a side ponytail. He's so. he's reading he's the books. He has life. a side ponytail and just. <laughs> Just to impress him, I'm I am great, both Ross. reading and watching Anne of Green Gables, Ross. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, I, I hear good things. I'm in the club. At, at what point does the elderly entertainment like go too far? Do you get to the point where I don't know what gets older than that? What's bird? What's older than bird watching? Hmm. Shuffleboard. Uh, like train? No, that's younger. What about Shuffleboard. trains? What about trains? Because I want to do trains God, now. Trains are uh, actually younger than bird watching because it involves you have to do a lot of you have to go to the store, come back. Like bird watching, you wander out to the woods with the binoculars, right? Uh, <laughs> do, you have, <laughs> do you have binoculars? Uh, no, I do not. My birds are right there. And like I said, I got the camera all set up, so I just watch it on my fucking phone. Like, uh, it. It's, it's even lazier than <laughs> yeah. just watch a bird webcam. Yeah. Like, would, would, it, would it be the same if it was a webcam somewhere else? Like, I'm sure there's thousands of bird webcams. Yeah, but it's his yard. Like, yeah. like it, does, does it make it better? And if I don't feed them, these birds don't come. It's a direct, it's the, I'm directly responsible for these birds, I feel like. So I you, like that. So you like his little babies. Yeah. So you shuffle pals. out to your back. You're like set the scene. You he shuffle out. To shuffle you. out. He's not seventy years old. <laughs> well, this is. Uh, and he then, is high as hell though. Look at that. He can't even open his eyes I right know. now. And I, <laughs> I, I don't give a fuck what Maybe anybody says. The side ponytail. It's great. I'm, I wish. What shampoo do you use? I wish you had had that when you were in studio. You look like a goddamn samurai. <laughs> 
Maybe it's jealousy that I'm like, because yeah. yeah. he's actually yeah. enjoying his now life. Now we're, getting, be, now we're getting to the I'm, real. real. I want to get just super fucking stony yeah. blown. Yeah. Yeah. You want a ponytail? You want a ponytail? Put, you want to be high as fuck? Put some bird seed out. <laughs> get the webcam. Yeah. 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 Watch my birds. Am I repotting some uh, dumb cane? Yeah. And tell me this little house on the prairie moment isn't fucking fascinating, Tom. Okay, Laura goes to her first grown-up birthday party. There's an orange in front of everybody's plate, but nobody's eating them. And Laura is super anxious because she has one time had a piece of orange that she knows is fucking delicious, and she wants to eat that orange, but nobody's eating them, so she just sits there and watches it until somebody does, has the orange. It's great. This guy comes home. He's the telegraph operator for the railroad. He's like, hey, you guys want to have some fun? Come check this out. He takes them in his office. He's like, everybody hold this wire. He electrocutes them briefly, and he goes, that's this new thing Benjamin Franklin invented. It's called electricity. How, how was it better be? than the orange? How, uh, how high are you getting? What are, what are you smoking? Because I like yeah, give we me that. Give me Ross, that. back in the day when uh, we like we hang out more, uh, we, you used to know like uh, do a lot more weed than me. But now I have a it's, lot of THC. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hundreds of dollars a month. It's not, hundreds. It's My not, God, it's not called doing THC. <laughs> well, that's old, that's the old man creeping out. Yeah. But I get high as I can at nights. Most all, every note. night, I don't think you get as high as you should. But that's the thing. Like, but but I still get paranoid. Like I'm 20 milligrams. I'm like, oh, too high. I got the whole new table. Are you combining? The, are, <laughs> I'm like, I'm freaking out. To the, are you I'm like, com- oh god, this crow sees. Are you combining the CBN with the with the? I'm combining TNC? everything. 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 Oh my god. I think Ross. Would be, I think Ross would be proud of me because I am. While I'm sitting, no bullshit, Ross. I'll look right into the camera. I am 300 milligrams. <laughs> that's too much. I can't. Do. And then I, I I have to. I can't feel shit. Unless it's 300 milligrams. That's so much. I need 300 just to get me to get up. Just to walk. Are, are, is it the dabs? That's a new... No, that's I don't a, do that. Is it the dabs? I don't do that. I wake, yeah, up, every, some, I wake up every morning. I shatter? And I, you I, on that shatter? I wake up every morning and I take six 50 milligram pills. <laughs> And then I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys will be proud or disappointed, but uh, yeah, I doubt it back, way back. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, basically, I don't smoke during the week hardly ever now. What? And I do. I basically I promise myself to have like a little uh, party bag on the weekend. So, you know, waiting for you guys to call, I, you know, I got started with the weekend. Mm. <laughs> well, we, we, we had talked about this, and I knew that you had cut way back, and I'm in the process of trying to. To I'm about do, to ramp it up. Trying to do <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know my favorite thing to do? I can finally talk about this because I feel a little I weird am. about talking. My favorite thing to do, and it kind of ties in. I think Ross used to do this when he was dabbling more, but my favorite thing to do is to get a little tooted and then get on that Peloton. And then just go. Oh, yeah, yeah, you said the exercise it, high. Well, but but the my, your your mind, my mind will literally go to a, a really nice meditative Dude. place where I just kind of zone out. My brother in law, I love it. I love it. Does the Ironman thing? He's a tons of Ironman and guys that obviously it's they can't com- they can't compete competitively with THC. But uh, these no. guys train high and it's they love fun. it. It's it, just it, like it makes me a, it makes me happier. I, I get done with it. I've does done it make some, it easier too? Yeah, it does because you don't think about it. I used to work out high all the time. Uh, that uh, it, it's even. And like the cardio, it seems like getting on an exercise bike or something. Oh, like I don't do turn- cardio. I do farty. <laughs> uh, you got any and, last uh, more bad news, Tom? Mm. I'm I'm not drinking at all, and that is what's causing your sleep problems. I'm sleeping like a fucking baby, and I haven't for years. I'm like. Oh, he's been like, what's wrong with I can't Fuck. sleep? It's I gotta boots. cut out alcohol. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So you're, you're, not, you're not champagneing, but you still have a wealth of knowledge. I might hit you up for Just it. once in a while, very I, rarely. Instead of, like, having a bottle while I'm cooking dinner every night, I'll have one on Wednesday night. You know, yeah. it's, like, it's very rare now. We have glitter. What is this? We're drinking. Glitter champagne. Nia. It's uh, sweet bubbly. Yeah, this is uh, from Hollabox. So uh, shout out yeah. to those guys for providing some. I try to sleep with like to- dead sober. I'm like tossing and turning. I'm like, God damn. I'm so it, it takes a while. I need yeah. to drink myself. You got to gotta acclimate to it. <laughs> what you got to do is you got to read uh, Little House on the Prairie or watch <laughs> Anna Green Gables. <laughs> one of my number one hates in this world is acclimation. <laughs> I fucking hate it. I want to put the fish right Can't in the tank. It. I don't want to go uh, soft at anything incremental and nothing. 
Anyway. All right. Hey, Ross, right. thanks for the time, man. Uh, you got any... Oh, your latest podcast. Let's talk about that for... That is bananas funny, dude. My God, Ross. I, Dude, I'm so proud of you guys. That show is... First of all, it's a great fucking show, but the David Jolly one is off the rails, and how you even kept it together, I have no idea. Uh, it's always fun to talk to Jolly. Uh, I'm glad he took the time. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting to hear his take. Uh, if you're not familiar, Tom, he recently had a lot of time on his hands, and... Uh, one of the ways he passed a lot of time was by listening to the radio. And uh, uh, in, in our conversation, he basically rated every radio personality that he heard while he was listening to the radio, whether he liked them, whether he didn't like them, whether or not they should be on the radio. No, nah, right. it's so good. He named them all shit. by name. He named them all by name. David mm-hmm. Jolly has no fear when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's amazing. It's a lot of fun. And so we, you know, we had a we had maybe a bad connection here or there. I don't know if it, uh, technically it's not a bad band. But, uh, no, it's fine. But, it, it, it's a lot. It was really it was good, man. I will say that uh, it it it's one of the, the more off the cuff, like rando, just like what's he going to say next shows. It really good. Mm. Everybody should check it out. He says some things about. Well, I just, I just, you got to <coughs> check it out about me. Yep, I don't know. What uh, say about me? I didn't, I, do I didn't say that. I didn't do nothing. I did not say that. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say it. He does review a corporate time because that he, that is one of the shows you yep. listen to. He, he does. does give it to- is completely honest review yep. of a corporate time. He does. He also, uh, well, man, there's one quote in there. That just, um, I'll say, <laughs> this, I'll say <laughs> this, and you'll know what I, I mean. He says, "The guy with the eyes," and I flew across my room. I was listening to you on my Xbox while I was playing PBA Professional Bowling. Uh, that's my new favorite video game on Xbox Live. I bought the newest Xbox just to play PBA Bowling. So I'm playing bowling, listening to Ross. Just go check out the show. You'll love it. Um, Just any, downloaded it. Any show? My favorite part was when he was uh, roasting another comedian that we know. Yes. And I was like, and you know, our shit's recorded, so I always take the moment to say, hey, you know, if you if you cross the line and you don't want to say this, we'll pull it you out. Know, yeah. You, you worry it might be jeopardizing your future earnings or whatever. Just we can always cut this out. Don't worry about it, and He goes, oh no, no, they're still gonna book me. <laughs> All right, I like his confidence. I like his he confidence. He adored this guy a new asshole, and he's still going to book me. It, it's worth listening to because so it's cool because it, it's, it's two comics just but, having a good time. You'll, you'll dig it. The best thing about the nothing to lose mentality is you'll never have anything to lose. <laughs> he's right. <laughs> Dude, that's a t shirt. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Guys, um, I'm also moving into Foley work. I'm doing Foley work now. Uh, really? I, I just want to give you one. Uh, I'll just give you one sound right now. If you guys, the classic uh, thunderstorm. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds surreal. <laughs> so you're making a home sound effect? <laughs> I love it. There's I love bird it. watching and making home sound effects. He set up an Etsy account for people that want authentic sound effects made to order, you idiot. <laughs> right. Right, there's a movement back to getting it's, away from the digital stuff. All the digital what samples. Do they call that, Ross? Fucking- it's called bestoke or uh, uh, be- bespoke, bespoke. It's correct. Like, ma- yes. Yeah, made to order. You know, this isn't pret a porter. This isn't fucking ready to wear. This is legitimate couture sound effects. <laughs> Horse uh, noises, you know, the sounds of battle. Um, what, you know, gold chains on your wrist. Yeah, he's wearing gold chains now. <laughs> Are you a cult leader? Why, what is you know what? Why yeah, am I the only one not you, judging our, you're our that friends? S- sound effects money? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This motherfucker got up. Ross has <laughs> left our show to get a ponytail and covered in gold. He is now DJ Khaled. Ross's greatest way Look at to... the drapes behind him. He's a cult leader. He's, his greatest way to, to get me back is to make more money than me doing sound effects on that scene. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to get rich oh and put you in your gold. I was like, sound no! Effects. Sound effects king, Ross McCoy. <laughs> shaking uh, our you goddamn... pissed off big sound effects now. He'll Sh- get you. <laughs> shaking a sheet of uh, sheet metal. You don't know what he was oh. shaking. Don't even act like you think you oh, know what he... It's a sheet metal. You don't know? <laughs> You're not in his workspace, man. You don't know what it's he's doing. It's his Foley studio. Yeah. Uh-huh. Show me what you're shaking. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Never show him what you're shaking, sir. You um, guys caught me. I actually, I can't lie any further. I secretly developed uh, mutant powers of weather control. That was an actual thunderstorm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do fully work. You got me, Tom. Congratulations. I do it. All right, Ross. We'll, uh, we'll talk guess. to you later. Yeah, we'll talk Bye. to you soon, man. Later, yeah. buddy.
It's good talking to Ross, who is higher than normal. Yeah, yeah. Ross is piece of shit. His tolerance is down now. Maybe, maybe I'm doing too much weed because I find out uh, when I get high, I'm like, I'm happy now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, I, got, I got my pen. <laughs> That's what Ross was like. Now, he was normally, grumpy when he wasn't on. Microdose in the day or something. Man. Like, normally I've been waiting till like, third segment because I haven't been drinking as much. Although, I will say that I did like uh, uh, that that sparkly glitter uh, champagne. That was good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. I didn't realize we went through, all, through it all. I was going to have another glass. I'm not yeah, uh, I'm like Daniel. <laughs> uh, I'm not a micro Tom, a microdose type of dude. <laughs> so uh, it's like, I'm like, microdose, microdose, all microdose, all microdose. <laughs> yeah, like right now. <laughs> <It's got> full <laughs> dose. <laughs> full <laughs> dose. <laughs> dose. And then I mean, like, overdose. I can, <laughs> oh, no. Don't overdose. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's all in there. I can microdose <laughs> uh, booze, which is what I'm doing right now. I stopped drinking at the beginning of the year. Now, I know I've gotten emails from people, you didn't stop drinking, you drank that. Yeah, but what I mean is I'm not going home and having six beers a night. Right. I'm yeah. just not drinking. And like most most nights, I don't drink right. at all. Nothing. I thought right. you were getting nude. I was like, what the fuck yeah, he's is He's like, I'm too hot. Dude, I got to get nude. Uh, Ross. Ross. <laughs> Show me what you're shaking. Yeah, so I, uh, so I haven't been drinking. But like on Fridays, I'll have, like normally, I'll have one White Claw or one Mike's uh, Seltzer. Uh, today I've had some seventies, which is basically yeah. one mics. Oh yeah, again, yeah. micro does micro does micro does. No, all, all no, I do, I do it with weed. <laughs> no, I do it with weed. What I do mm. is I I go and on the weekends, and I'm not I'm not happy about it. But like if I leave here and I know everything's done, and you you know you guys are all gone, and I shut the studio, and I'll go home. I'll take fifty milligrams. I'll toot toot toot, <laughs> and then I'll toot toot. Yeah, I'll toot toot toot, and then much. and then I'll toot all night. And then another fifty, and then I'm just like, "Come on, baby, let's do the doom, the doom, the doom, the doom, the doom." And I'm just like, and then most people go like, "I didn't even, yeah, I thought you were fine." And I'm like, <laughs> I am "I'm fine. never fine." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the old uh, twelve pack of Miller Lite to keep your hands. Yeah, your head. No, <laughs> like, now I'm ready it, to work. But I'm saying it's like with, it's like with right. marijuana. So like tomorrow, I got to do my ski lesson. I'll be oh, sober when God. I go to that. I oh, know. Good. Hi for that. I no, I can't because you got to listen and like you know. And I, also, I think it's kind of disrespectful to go there. Like I feel like no, it, they're it's higher. Like going, <laughs> you're just ski yeah, instructor. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's a but, woman and she's not. She's yeah. all business. Uh, listen, uh, if I know anything about ski instructors, not this one. They, she's a lady. They are like uh, Ross. They like bird watching. No, this, <laughs> you know what? Balls, most yeah. stereotypes yeah. should just be men or women because the the shit that gets fucked up are guys all one hundred percent of the time. Maybe ski instructors in Florida are not high, but I'll, no, this Colorado, is like a, dude, I'm, this when, lady is not high. She's really yeah, high. yeah. No, I know. I've been there. With, they uh, are teaching my kids right no, now. No, the but, guy is high. Yeah, no, yeah, we're well, going dude, to the same place. The guy is high. When the you lady go, is absolutely not high. When you go to Colorado, look at every all single person that works. Uh, all the employees that work on a mountain uh, at a uh, ski resort. And everybody saying like oh high, LSD, yeah, but, whatever the fuck. It's all doing. the Everything. same. Yeah. Tripping balls because a lot of them work for the ability to ski there for free. Yeah. So it's like let a little play. Uh, so they let like you know yeah go, come high to work. As um, from our <laughs> Twitch chat room, BDM Drew says, "Who the fuck takes ski lessons?" in Florida. People that don't want to spend too much money to take ski lessons in Colorado. Colorado. Or waste your time so, in Colorado. So the answer, yeah. Drew, is poor people. <laughs> uh, I do. Because yeah, yeah. I'm not spending $300 for one lesson in Colorado. You want to build up a little base before you mm-hmm. get there uh, and you do the whole carpet. I'm trying <laughs> so to build up. <laughs> it's it's kind of yeah. like it's a there. dirty carpet. Isn't yeah, it? it's, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, let's take a break. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, good news for you, buddy. No Effects has a brand new album out, so you'll be buying... You buy, uh, what, a new CD about every three years when they release music. <laughs> well, um, you just sent it to me, so... I, just... I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's how we I got, right? It's not out yet, actually. I guess it comes out next week. Um, or just uh, is getting released to people that pre-ordered today. It's called Single Album, because when Fat Mike... Um, he wanted to write a double album, and he didn't have enough songs to, and I believe these songs seemed more like singles, so they put out a, an album called Single Album. All right. And I'm going to play one of the lesser-known songs from this, because there are a couple of singles that they have been out. There's the Linoleum one. There's another one that's called uh, Fuck Euphemism is another one they have out. This is the... This is the one that I just picked. This isn't even a single. It's called Birmingham. It's off of their brand new single album. Again, this is no effects. One eight four four T O M the letter N D A N or show at tomanddan.com. Bye bye.
If you're looking to buy or sell your house, you got to use the Bart Merrick team. I am using the Bart Merrick team. Oh, yeah? Might be using them twice. Yep. Um, it's Bart Merrick, it's Crystal Van, and you get the team, mm-hmm. and you get the experience, and especially you get the experience in a market like this, which is very important because if you don't know the current market and you don't have a lot of transactions, then you may not know what to price a house, how the process of buying and selling is going to go mm-hmm. in this current market. Now, I know what you're thinking. They, Daniel, how do, what do you know about this? Mm. And the answer is very little. Yeah. But I do share a calendar with your wife, and I see the number of meetings and closings. Yes. The big one you're looking for here is closings. Yeah. They are working their behinds off right now. It's kind of moving and grooving, right? Yep. I mean, you see it. In fact, dare I say, some of your fun trips have been canceled because <laughs> yes. your wife needs to work. It's true. And speaking of closings uh, uh, and buyings, is that it? Uh, Sellings? Selling, I guess, yeah. Buy, Sell, well, closing. Closing. Uh, buy. Just talk to the Bart Merrick team. But hey, here's a guy. Ben, how you doing, Ben? I'm doing great, guys. How are you today? Good, good. So, is it sellings, Ben? <laughs> well, the closings is when you buy. <laughs> yeah, closings? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, too yeah. confusing. Well, I guess you close yeah. when you sell, too. You do? Well, don't. you don't. They do. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Ben, how was your experience with the Bart Merrick team? Uh, in a word, it was amazing. Um, we actually sold and bought a home with the Bart Merrick team and, uh, and couldn't have been happier with our experience. That's awesome, awesome man. man. I, uh, I appreciate you, you using them. Um, of course, now because of Corona, uh, we can't have guests in, but no. uh, soon we will. Yeah. And, uh, and, and then, when you get any of our guarantee, I'll spit right in your mouth. Then. <laughs> Once we're all vaccinated. <laughs> yeah. Once we get there, I'll kiss your face. I promise you. And, um, <laughs> and uh, it, they're just really experienced, right, Ben? It's like they know and have experience in this current market, and that helps a lot, right? Uh, it really does. They, they really made the whole process pretty effortless for us. They they walked us through the entire process, uh, both buying and selling. And and you're right. You mentioned the, the craziness of the current market. Uh, we were lucky to get the home that we that we found and bought. And uh, the selling of our house, uh, the house is only on the market two days before we had an offer over the listing price. Yeah. Awesome. You know, some would say luck, Ben, but I say <laughs> you just hit your wagon to the Bart Merrick team. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ben, thanks so much for taking the time today, and uh, and again, we'll put you on the list to come in and watch the show once everything clears up. Uh, One but free call. We appreciate it very much, Ben. Awesome, thanks, guys. Thank All you right, very man. much. Take care. It's BartTheRealtor dot com. I mean, it's not not a crazy baby screaming. <laughs> How dare you? I don't want to be a dumb old man here, but I'm like, what the fuck is this crazy baby screaming? <laughs> what is this? I mean, yeah. it does go too avant garde, right? <laughs> It's, no, it's just uh, it, it just happens to be a, a woman who's in a wheelchair and uh, it has a problem uh, and well, happens to be rapping. Okay, right. that's fine. I'm nothing against her. I'm just it sounds like a crazy sounds baby. Like you're discriminating against a disabled person. No, I does nothing. I don't even know that. I didn't well, know anything know. about her. She sounds. Disabled. Here's the thing: it's not discrimination if you don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorance. Okay. Well, write that down, Norm. Uh, <laughs> Norm. <laughs> Tell that to like lady who drank <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I didn't know anything about this, and I'm like, what is the crazy baby screaming? Now that I know, mm-hmm. you know, it's I uh, I can't make the joke, but I made it before I knew, nope. so it was fine. Yeah, fair enough. And <laughs> just in case, <laughs> and we're good. All right. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, let's do some dump them out. All right, let's do it, buddy. Dump, 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 dump,
Dump them out brought to you by True Leave. <laughs> and uh, they've got True Leave Happy Hour, which I didn't know about, but uh, I know today. Why didn't from, you know that? That's your client. I know. Uh, well, I found out when we were talking to Skyler. But Who's Skyler? Uh, <laughs> they uh, they they have happy hour um, most days. Follow their social to find yeah, out. Yeah, I'll tell but, you like, the hours. Today from three to eight, and you get percentages off. And they always doing like okay, half I don't know about deals. you guys. And then the birthday deal, I didn't know your yeah, month. I didn't know that either. The month birthday of your birthday, month. you get twenty five percent off an yeah. order one time. One yeah, time. yeah, yeah. So uh, just bring it up if it's, your, if it's your birthday month. I don't know about you guys, but I get a lot of text messages from my family that bum me out, <laughs> especially extended family and people on down the line because there's always problems. But I'll tell you right now, I never get, never get sad when I get a message from a dispensary oh, or right. like ABC Fine Wine. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I mean? Like I'm just, I'm opt-in crazy because those are good text messages to get. Do we ha- do we have a handicapped uh, listener? Because I I want to talk a lot to of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, why, why, are you are you thinking like I'm thinking? Are we finally going to do what I want to do? <laughs> no, 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 no. handicap <laughs> listeners. No, <laughs> we're not. Oh, we, in that case, you're fine. Because, uh, all right. <laughs> what I know about the handicapped is that they <laughs> want. Really, really, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> uh, uh, Here's why I don't either. Because most what? people that know when I say horrible things, they're like, "Well, he's just joking." <laughs> obviously, <laughs> the thing he just did was a gigantic joke. But Tom but, likes to dip his toe into these are my actual thoughts, <laughs> and that's when it gets no, weird. No, no, because because uh, I'm just shocking and jocking, baby. I'm just sh- uh, woo woo woo. This is not that's shit. Shock, woo, woo, woo. Shock. This I'm trying to have a. I'm just trying to have fun, but you're real? trying to analyze. <laughs> no, okay. You're like I'm a I'm a no, higher thinking being. Friday. No, no, no. I okay. So uh, every handicapped person that I know wants to be treated like everybody else, right? Uh, well, okay. That's our number one thing. Okay. Don't Christine treat me immediately says mm-hmm. we got to say disabled. But Sorry. I'd disabled. like to know, like, I mean, not that I'm Team Tom, but I'd like to know why we can't say handicap. I guess it's because they've they've changed the word, so now it's like you're not handicapped, you're disabled. Well, handicapped, handicapped I, I would argue. But as, doesn't handicap a, mean you're disabled? Well, as a man that, you know, I love alliteration. I, I was an English major. I didn't finish. I mean, but I like, handicapped to me sounds more positive than disabled. Disabled yeah. is more of a downer. Handicapped, at least yeah. it's handy. It's also a gambling term. <laughs> that you like You handicap a game. It means like you're predicting based on uh, you know, And then look, now, then you think? get the chat room because I asked the question, why we can't say handicap. Then you get the people that want to say, like uh, somebody said, "Oh boy, oh boy, here we go." You know, like everybody wants. <laughs> but why can't you say it? I don't know. Anyway, but I know from disabled people, they all want to be treated uh, not not all abnormally, right? They no, want to be treated the same as anybody else. Some of else, them right? want to be treated uh, like handicapped people. <laughs> well, that's, I, I'm saying the general idea is like, hey, don't treat me any different because no. I'm disabled. Treat me like everybody else. Yes, I, and then that's the and then you're like, all right, the, and if you tell me that. Then I'm like, deal is a deal. I will do that. Just like you tell me. And I try to learn. I try to get better. Uh, Samantha's like, don't say this word. Say this word better. And I'm like, all right. It takes me a while. I do like that. By the way, can we mark that down? I do like it when you do that. I don't. I'm Will not. You? I yeah. don't okay. care. No, I don't. I don't care about any word. Wait, you said it sarcastically. <laughs> no, because no, I thought you guys hated when I did that. No, we like that. We may not agree well, with you, but we do. So like the reason it. why I it's offensive it. is because uh, <laughs> the definition of handicap is uh, actually is a barrier or circumstance that makes progress or success difficult, so, such as an impassable flight of stairs or negative attitude towards a person who has a disability. Yeah, but so if it's you're a negative a- term. Yeah, but they're saying what they're saying though to go. And this sounds like some shit Tom would say, but if you're in a wheelchair, you can't go upstairs. That's a fact. That's not you like can drag there. You can you could drag yourself up there. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to say that. You don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm just saying. So, so you could, just like, be, uh, it's also important huh? to understand that there are negative connotations to the term term handicapped when Uh-oh. referring to a person who has a disability. The word has been around for centuries, but was not used to refer to people with disabilities until the late 1800s. Many people believe that the term Therefore. handicapped was first used in relation to individuals who have disabilities when the Civil War veterans whose injuries prevented them from working were begging on the streets with quote, cap in hand. Standard references do not support the story, but because the story has become legend and begging for a living is degrading, describing people with disabilities as handicapped is offensive. The, okay. that All right. Well, then all change right. the wording on the parking spaces because of that, I, the, the society... Yeah. Does it still say handicapped? I don't know. Uh, In my mind, it does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when I see yeah. the blue... I don't even I, see... Like, I don't I see handicapped. Oh, can't park there. Park, anyway, yeah, my, I just go, ew! My, my point yeah. being... 
if it, you're supposed to be like that, you know, everybody that's disabled wants to be treated like a normal person, obviously. That's Again, I'd like do. to preface not everybody. There's going to be okay, a couple yeah. of holdouts. But the general idea is like treat everybody the same. And uh, so when I hear a song and then I consume it, it's all subjective because everybody yeah, sure. thinks different. I consume it and I'm like, well, that's uh, hot garbage. I should be allowed to say that, even if it if you are disabled, because sure. I'm treating you like everybody else. I can't. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna be like, I can't say it's garbage because you're disabled. I should be. Oh, able to totally. Say it's you hate right. that song. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. absolutely. Oh. That's a- Okay. Wow. Well, well, pop, pop, rant. I just over. want to make fun of uh, disabled people's music. Wow. <laughs> yeah. okay. And uh, free. Well, of any... here's a fact, huh? and and I know this to be true because I'm a, am I a musician? I would put you in the category of musician. Thank you. But not you know the you know, no, 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 no. I don't want to be. I don't want. No, no, no. That wasn't my career path. But I will say that if you are a handicapped person or disabled and you make music, then your music is disabled. <laughs> That Daniel Dennis. At <laughs> show, no, it is. Show at Tom because you're disabled. <laughs> so it's you're a disabled person making music. I guess you're right. Yeah. Well, it depends on you know uh, where. Who I, is I, the, I, but who is the <laughs> most famous? I made some other Who is the most famous <laughs> disabled musician? And I already know who it is. Uh, Stevie Wonder, right? Mm, hell no. Uh, well, maybe Ray Charles. No, current. I'm saying current touring disabled music. I was going to say Andrew Bocelli. Is Bismarcky uh, handy disabled? No. How dare you? No, he was not. What about one of the Ying Yang twins? Just no, the, uh, mm-hmm. cur- no I'm talking megastar, Bocelli. What, what is uh, his yeah, disability? Yeah, he's blind. He's blind oh, and he sings uh, and he's phenomenal. Hold on. I would say that Ray Charles or... Isn't he a bit rapey though, Bocelli? You know? I don't. Oh my goodness. Oh Stephen Wonder is, is more popular than I don't Bocelli, know. right? Now the chat room. Now see, see, now the chat room's going crazy. Who is the most successful... Disabled. What about musician? the Def Leppard drummer? He's an amputee. Ooh. That I, you know, they I make a, be disabled after that, right? I, I yeah, got a hot but, take for him. There is a Funko Pop of him. Really? That is very off-putting. <laughs> why? Why? These are he's got hot one, takes. One, he's only got one <laughs> arm. <laughs> he's only got one arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid for two arms. <laughs> Put the plastic in the box. What do we got for the first couple? Uh, we got Barbershop Linger. Mm. What is this? This is you. Oh. What, at our barber? You were leaving our barber. How this... do you know this? Uh-oh, they're, they're talking <laughs> no, no. about you behind your back, Tom. Wow, we're, working, we're working with a real genius, guys. <laughs> huh, how'd you find that out? Did you go to our barber? I Hold on, I got my hair cut, I get a pay. You got your hair cut the day before me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but I pay, and you... then I walk out. No, you I did do... not. I do a little, uh, <laughs> like, talk issue no, you, shit. No, you did not. You were having an exchange, mm. and you were overly polite, and then our barber was joking with you, and he was being overly polite back to you, and he's like, oh, this is good, and you were standing there, and you were in a rush. It's because the thing that Crystal says he does. You were in a <laughs> rush. Uh-huh. You, you Won't let him it. leave. You know what? You're you are. I'm gonna give you a compliment, so you can never say I didn't do it live on the air. You are an amazing producer to remember that and know exactly where I'm going. Yes, he did the thing that Crystal complains about, mm. where he allowed somebody else to pull him back in and stay. You were running late, and you needed to get your hair cut and then go. Okay, uh-huh. you need some. I think it was something for your wife. I don't know. It wasn't yeah, a yeah. business thing. Yeah. And you were standing with our barber, and you were talking to him, <laughs> and then he was making jokes. But he said something that was sexual in nature that tilted you, putting you on tilt. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because John, the barber, is a cut-up, and he's a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. You guys were all goofing around having locker room talk, a.k.a. barber talk. And then he yeah, I was like, I'll tell you where to yeah. grab him. And, and he, yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, wants to, he wants to know where to grab him. I know where to grab him. Yeah, he says, really he, knows, like it. Yeah, he <laughs> says he knows where, and he can shoot somebody in the middle of the street. So, yeah, all the whole night. And then he said something to the effect of, oh, yeah, so nice. Hey, well, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, he, and he was like... It was so good, I'll eat your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever the phrase yeah, yeah, yeah. was, it was something to the effect where our barber said, well, I'll eat your ass, yeah, where yeah. he said in graphic detail with the two other barbers backing, um, backing him up, said that Tom had his hand on the doorknob when John said, you know, <laughs> I'll eat your ass. And you took your hand down, and, like, on the doorknob, and then you just 
let it fall, uh-huh. and turned around and stayed for an, an extra 15 minutes. He was waiting to get his ass eaten. To the point, to no. the point where Jimmy, little Jimmy, wearing his Crocs and cutting hair all day, asked me if my business partner wanted to eat John the Barber's ass. No, yeah. no, because I, You made Jimmy the Barber. No. Think... No, no, it that didn't. you are gay and want to eat John the barber's ass. It's no, and now you've made a mess at our barber. I thought it was the like uh, he was thanking you for prepaying haircuts during pandemic, which we did because we do get haircuts. And if there was a small business, small he's as small as they get. If there were small businesses that we could help our friends, we would try to help. You did that. He was no, thanking you for that. Th- then you got uncomfortable. Th- then he said he'd eat your ass, and then you. Came back as if to say, I would like my ass eaten. Right now. No. no, How much extra is that? What happened is I get into... I modes of like, all right, now we are in goodbye mode, and that's yeah, but it. goodbye that's, mode. Get the should, fuck out. Yeah, then you leave. <laughs> no, but, no, but then he you say goodbye, you leave. No, he, he made threw, a he made an ending threw, joke, an exclamation point. No, I no. make these all the time with you guys, and I walk out on a high note. I thought he threw off my goodbye mode, and then made a joke. I thought we were now shooting the shit joke no. barber mode well, it again. Bothered like the I shop. was it's uh, a, LeBron it's James. It's a joke on the go. <laughs> it, it bothered <laughs> the shop. It, Every time, to the point where it bothered the shop to the point where they explained this in front of another well-known Orlandian. Now, I'm not going to say who was getting his hair cut while they were explaining the story. And everybody in there, including the woman barber who's fantastic, I will not, I don't even want to say her name because she's got children. <laughs> no, it's And fine. you, I sir, know. you, no, sir, he, have, no. I'm, I thought he was like, oh, it's the, you know, we're shooting the shit. This is the barber shop. No, they are, I, I was like, oh, I, they so I rest do my such a narcissist. <laughs> rest <laughs> no, I'm not. He, I'm like, oh, he, they, he did a joke. Now I got to stay and tell my joke. No, <laughs> here's what I, I thought know. it was joke telling time. <laughs> no, it's, it's bye bye time. No, no, it wasn't. He's like, well, eat your ass. That's all. I was like, oh, joke time. Like, oh, hey, 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 my he doesn't know how to say goodbye. He doesn't. <laughs> rest assured, though, guys. Um, I will just be. quit fucking with me. That's how I'm <laughs> just re- I, you know who's disabled. I'm disabled. <laughs> so just leave me be. Just realize that. Let me go about my life. If you throw me off, I thought I'd okay. be treated like the rest of us. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> I, I don't. Oh, I don't oh, treat shit. me like a disabled person. So <laughs> I'm the only one. I already do. I know. That's why we have a great relationship. <laughs> I'm trying to get my wife to do it. She refuses. Every, everybody in the chat room is just as confused. As <laughs> no, I treat me now, like I'm disabled. I'll Okay, here's the part I want to bring up. Maybe this is just a little bit selfish, but I don't want to go to get my hair cut and get the time where I get my relaxation no, come on. and then have my barber have to go through and have me help to figure out what the fuck you did no. because you stood back for 20 minutes when they didn't need you in there during COVID when we don't need people in tight spaces no. and you're standing there because they said eat ass and you're like, eat it. Somebody say eat ass? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fine. Like, just you stop. also They're, drop your phone and have to bend over in front of them? Just quit fucking with the disabled. <laughs> that's, <Okay. all> the <laughs> that's the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> quit fucking with the di- What else uh, we got? Mm. Uh, we have buying jeans. We were talking about buying jeans when we were at public. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sam and I were talking about buying jeans. Where do you guys buy jeans? Because she's trying to convince me, and my wife is trying to convince me to buy Amazon jeans. Yeah, Amazon wardrobe. That just sounds weird. So they make their own brand? Yeah, they have their own brand. I think it's called Amazon Basics or something. Mm. And uh, you can try them on, and if you don't like them, you can return them for free. I'm less of an Amazon. I'm more of a 369 uh, Petite. Where okay so a five seven nine. <laughs> five, is it five seven nine? yeah so follow me with this I don't know, I'm just counting the odds <laughs> this is interesting like every corporation usually starts making their own brands right because they're like screw it uh, I'm selling all these brands of I'm course, just gonna yeah. make my own yeah, grocery stores own, do it we have our own brand a birdseed Tomco <laughs> Walmart Tom does Cover. and stuff but then so every corporation that does that there's a certain stigma to all the brands that they make for instance um, I think in uh, the spectrum of good to bad, like Publix brand, uh, whatever, is probably a, a notch up from like a Winn Dixie brand and then an Aldi brand. You a know lot of times yeah. they're made by big producers just under a. Right. It's the same shit. Yeah, yeah. Like a, I, got, but, I got back up in the chat. People are saying Amazon Basics is great. Yeah. So but that's what I'm I want to ask. I'm just a little like concerned. Most everything I buy pant wise, not shorts normally, but pant wise, I got to have it tailored. 
I mean, you guys can kind of assume that I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm losing a lot of weight. and You got to do something. And yeah. Or at I, least my, get a belt. My you God. weren't in here. My pants fell completely to the ground. And to but- the fucking ground. I think yep. I saw his balls. <laughs> yeah, Butler saw <laughs> my balls. Shook, you, you just he wanted fall. to see if you'd eat his ass. <laughs> you shook him out of your pants yeah. while your wife was here in front of Butler. And then yeah. we all, and then your wife was like, but you can't do that. And we're yeah, like, I can do whatever the fuck I want in my goddamn God. <laughs> I'm like, we can do whatever in front of Butler. Sam, that different story. But he did say that. 2021. And he was dead fucking serious. He's like, we can uh, sexually aroused butler, yeah. whatever the fuck. Now in like 10 years, that's going to stop for sure. But maybe but 10 five. is a long time, yeah. man. Yeah, But okay, so Wal- if you told someone you're getting Walmart brand jeans, mm-hmm. they, they but no, but they would have, there would be a stigma to that, right? A poor, a cheap, uh, something. Yeah, right? there would be. Like, sure. I've bought Target brand jeans before. But that's higher than Walmart. I've bought Walmart jeans Mazzimo. before. Mazzimo. Yeah, of course. No, Mazzimo. Cherokee. So what does Amazon, what, what stigma or uh, I don't know. Stereotype. Amazon's got a pretty good reputation. The more does, generic, yeah. the better. For for a mega company, they do have a good right. I yeah. mean, like for a mega it's not company, considered I mean they're cheap. terrible to their employees, Guys, but, you, but <laughs> they don't look. Hold on a second. They do not get the amount of jokes they should receive for the size of their corporation. KFC. Taco Bell, um, trying to think of things that get, um, like big companies that get, uh, shit. CC's Pizza, like bigger company chains. Like cheap get, stuff. Look, you Amazon know why? is shitty and they don't get shit on because y'all motherfuckers love the convenience and y'all yeah. don't want to shit on the but, real sh- You should be shitting on them because I would venture a guess if we really microscoped that. Oh, they're terrible. We would it's a terrible company. Hate it. oh, well, it's, it's just Walmart, but in. in, in no, I all, think it's worse. It's all set up in giant warehouses and they just deliver it to you. But you know yeah, why I'm no, it's Yum Brands. B- uh, B- BDM uh, XCon is calling me out for saying the same two brands. But yeah, it's all Yum Brands. But my point is, is that it's not good. But you don't want the. But they're probably why they'll never get the same stigma as like a Walmart or something. Well, they have great customer the, service and shit. Well, not on, because you don't walk into anywhere. Like you're right. ordering the shit from your house. So like you're not seeing the other customers and seeing the employees. And they, <laughs> like that's why we all have a stigma towards Walmart, right? Is because we walk inside Walmart and we're like, oh, didn't that oh, good? Yeah. Well, they also don't have the greatest quality of product. I also it, fight the stigma though because... Neither I, Am- Amazon is worse than Walmart. I, because I, Amazon, Amazon has tons of Oh, if scam. Amazon was a brick and mortar uh, no, store, it would be filled with Amazon's trolls. own brand. I agree it's with quality. Tom, Tom is making my point better. If Amazon were a building, no one would set foot in it. <laughs> right. Yeah, their warehouses are. It's a flea market, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a fucking flea market. Like some of the Still shit. The ghouls. I know there are people that listen to the show that love Amazon and like the the moon rises, sun rises and sets in it. Whatever the fuck. I I'm I'm. Oh, what the, is the that? Bo- yeah, they said they were going to bomb our city uh, <laughs> this weekend. Oh, that's good. No, I uh, I I I. I come and go with with that. Like it's, I've ha- I've ordered some like these these stands. Like I got fucked on these from Amazon <laughs> from our like ele- like. Uh, you gotta do your your due diligence and research for sure. Juan is right. Like for electronics, things that you need in like maybe the 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 business space, not so good. Textiles. Yeah, maybe you can roll the dice on some jeans and get some good stuff. Maybe know? they can make better quality because they don't need uh, a store. Right. You know, what I'm like the like customer store, all the stuff that comes along with Walmart that they have to spend money on. Amazon doesn't, so they just have never ending uh, warehouses with employees mm. that stuff boxes. That's all they need. Oh man, and Matt, they're probably going to hire they get uh, better quality. Matt gets mad in our Twitch chat room, twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live. He says, "I bet Dan gets an Amazon package to his house five times a week." I don't order. I, I'm, oh, I do. I'm the weirdo. Like, <laughs> but okay. you said your wife here's, just orders. Here's yeah. something. I'm not that, no, but here's two times a day. Two times a day. That, that's not me. Here's something will blow your mind. I don't have an Amazon account. <laughs> I still it's, use a DVR, guys. Like these are not. I'm. Not, we're not lying to you. I. There are some things that in tech world I am way ahead of everybody, and there's some things that Tom, yeah, like yeah. Tom's whole house is still, automated by Alexa. I don't have any of that shit. Daniel's house cable. He's yeah, like a I, whole bird watcher. Yeah, I'm an old bird watcher. <laughs> yeah, I just like I you know like the going whole, to. I like the brick and mortar. I'm kind of like Butler. I like a brick and mortar store. If I can get it for mom and pop, I will. I don't have an Amazon account. I don't order. My wife does, like, stuff that we need for the house. I don't order a lot of Amazon shit. I've gotten burned a couple times on Amazon. I don't necessarily like it as much. I can't navigate it, it as good as you guys. Should. I'm never going I, I'll to. I'll tell you what I did today that I'll do again. God damn it. And it came. I said I was going to have it ordered by 1 p.m. It was there by 11.15. 
ABC. Yes, that's amazing. ABC delivery is the way to go. Do not. Uh, well, the I only time I ever really step into a store is here when we go to Publix. There's no need. Yeah, there. Yeah, I hate. Yeah, it. there is no. And need. I got the shit I can't find. The Clementine, even, like, Clementine White Claw. My wife drove it by. Even the, if you uh, go to a store to buy clothes right now, you can't use the fitting rooms. So there's no fucking point. Some yeah. you can. I have not found one that you can go into the fitting rooms. They're I, all closed. I bought some jeans at uh, Express and I get to try them on. I'm gonna have the, to go to Express then. But the thing, like, I, I'm never gonna go shopping for clothes again in my entire life because I hated every second of doing that in the yeah, past. It's terrible. And then now that I could just order the stuff, especially now the return policy is like, hey, if they don't fit right? instantly, yeah. you know, it's like not that. And Crystal's like, so I'm gonna and Amazon. Or- it's like, oh, just take it back to Kohl's. Order super every. Well, that is have, a super have, convenient. Have you part. seen yeah. the new thing they do? And the, you, talk about the genius. And you this think is, we're uh, sponsored by Amazon? Well, <laughs> Right well, this was just work a, on that. this was like an extra box that they decided to do. Like, I did um, not, well, when they wouldn't stitch fix. What was the boys' one? Trunk club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Remember, I did that. I was like, I'm always an early adopter, so I did that like four years ago. You know, I had a yeah, trunk yeah, club yeah. and I was trying it out. Crystal does that. Yeah. Now they've got this thing. Well, she needs it because she's out in front of the people. She's a realtor. She yeah. got to look the part, you know, like and look good. Like here, honestly, I can wear chubbies like in, in oh, yeah, t-shirts yeah, yeah. and be big chungus the rest of my life. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But you know what I started doing is that um, some of them now, when they when you pick pants, they'll give you both sizes. They'll ah. give you like the small and the big, so you can go in between and compare, which I think is really yeah. really cool. Anyway, now we're uh, becoming like, a, hey, uh, come on in, we're gonna cook banana bread on the show. So, all right, um, Samantha, I know what? that uh, uh, our episode that oh. me and Daniel are on of Semantics, yeah, that's out, that's out right now. Yeah. So is the Patreon um, episode as well. Where we sign up for as little as a dollar. By a the month, way, you two can listen to Tom and Dan get high and drunk on my show. Yeah, you can hear Tom as drunk as he can be, and me being as high well, as I can be. We're really funny, Tom. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah well, you guys are. I'm not. I got me and your husband got real serious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Winston Churchill showed up on the show. Oh, by the way, unsolicited. Can I just give a, a a hats off and a a salute to the Bart Merrick team because I finally got to see your yeah. house. Holy shit, you have a nice house. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice. Nice. My nice. God, you know, I, that's a nice house. I didn't see any of my plants around that. I forgot. Yeah, to they, check they, they were rotten. outside yeah. the patio oh, okay. that you were peeking through. <laughs> like, how tall is your fence back there? Yeah, he <laughs> he's such really an old man. Give him a rundown. Yeah, oh my He's God. like trying to look out the tent. Oh, you've got tattoos. What's it like to not yeah. have a? He's job? like, that's way more than six feet. I'm like, who the fuck measures their fence? Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I do some weird, uh, awkward things. <laughs> I apologize <laughs> because I don't know. I, like, like, I really like your your blue walls here. Uh, like, um, thanks. <laughs> I'm trying to compliment your house like a normal human. Like what are the when a normal I human? I you're faking he it. He can't do normal human stuff. I know. He's disabled. He's like, trying he, though. That's what counts. He can't He's walk trying. into somebody's Where's house. Where's my ramp? That's what I screamed when I got to your house. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, Travis, what uh, what's going on with some watering holes? What do we got here? Uh, Tuffies. There's the whatever. Yeah. My <laughs> wife's. I, I will say that my wife's watering hole has been a toughie lately. Like, oh, come on. <laughs> no, it's just hard getting in there. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Too many other guys in there. West oh, End, uh, yeah. Celery City. We got a uh, Mets Lounge out in Volusia County. Yeah. We got uh, out in Brevard. We have a uh, Bug Nutty Brewery. Go check out them. They still have some stuff out there. Glasses, magnets, uh, stickers, and whatnot. And uh, yeah, yep. yeah. Just go to Tom and Dan Waterings dot com to find them all, but they're they're all over the yep. place, and they all got stuff to give away. So, mm-hmm. um, oh, and oh, wait, and you go to Gringos, um, ask for a koozie or a magnet. They got brand new koozies and magnets at all Gringos locations. So just when you check out and you're getting your food, just say, "Hey, can I get a Tom and Dan koozie and magnet?" Also, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, the Semantics four year anniversary party is oh, going to yeah. be on yeah. Sunday uh, at Rock Sunday? Pit Brewing. It's this Sunday. Yeah. Oh shit! I'll drop. Came out there. of nowhere. Yeah, I'll come by. We'll have stickers, magnets, koozie. I'll drop by. Stuff. I have no plan. I'll drop by half a beer. I may not stay long, but we're you know. starting at noon. Oh, great! Uh, so get there early. See you at noon. I'm going to be out my boat. I apologize. I can't make it. Uh, <laughs> Sam and I like to. No. I, put it, I put it in the calendar. Yeah. Sam and I like to get I, there fast. It's been on the digital calendar. Yeah. Well, and the hard calendar. And the hard calendar. Since you're not going to be there, I, then I, I will embarrass you by playing Sunday. something that I secretly recorded earlier this week that Tom doesn't know about. I still go to Taco Bell drive through raw as hell. I don't care. I'm still real. No matter how many records I sell after the show or after the Grammys, I like to go cool out with the family, sipping, reminiscing on the day. When I had a Mustang And now I'm in first glass Up in the sky Popping champagne 
leaving my life in the fire lane And I won't train to hot the glamorous the flow shit the glamorous It just goes around the Uh Do you remember singing that while we were doing uh, commercials? <sighs> Land cruise. Bye bye. And now it's time for the Tom and Dan end of the show footnotes. Today you heard music from 68. Now, I think this just came up on Spotify, and I was instantly pulled in. Check out the album artwork as well. So there was this band called The Chariot, but then it ended, and now there's this. You can Google it. They're from Atlanta. They're awesome. You heard 68 in their song, Bad Bite. Yep, it is my commercial pick of the week. Now I'm going to just blow your mind. This is our dear friend, Bubba Whoopass Wilson's son, Josh. Yeah, I know, right? The apple, the tree. And if everything goes correctly, it looks like we're going to have Bubba and his son Josh in on the BDM show on Monday. And this is Josh, or Wilson the Hippie, with the song Joshua. No Effects has a brand new record out. I already told Tom. It's really the only time I know that he'll be happy about new music. From their brand new single album, and it's really not that bad at all. It's got some good singles on it. You heard their track, Birmingham. We closed out the show with a band that I actually found on the old band camp a couple of years ago. Take a peek at Wheelchair Sports Camp, and you will see a band fronted by a wheelchair-bound MC beatmaker, activist, educator, and shit-talker named Kaylin. Now, she has a brittle bone disability called osteogenesis imperfecta. So when you feel bad about that terrible breakfast you made or because the pizza topping slid off, yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, you could be doing a lot more with a lot less. So there you go. See you Monday. Hey, 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 oh, mate, with the-